Okay, looks like it's all recording. Welcome back, everybody. We're going to be doing some more Zelda Spirit Tracks today. But for the YouTube audience, I'm just going to mention right quick, we have a new BRB screen, as you can see. It uses um, my character model there, as you can see. We got a little Teddy Ursa in the arms. I also wanted to start recording on this so I can show off the, the, cool, str uh, the cool screen transition we've had made. Because I've only gotten to show this off, like, once so far. Hang on. Boop. There we go, look at that. Look how fancy it is. Okay, so the other day, Yo-Yo, Demo, and Andy surprised me with this little gift PNG tuber. I have like commissions sent off um, for the big fancy one, but people really enjoyed when I used this the other day, so I'm using it again. Sorry if you think that's a cringe, but I wanted to. Oopsie, hang on. So we're gonna resume Zelda Spirit Tracks and we're going to the Snow Temple. It's cute. Yeah, I, I showed it on Twitter, and surprisingly, like, almost overwhelmingly, people, like, uh, have been given it a positive reception. There we go. Well, that's been pretty nice. Anyways, let's get on the train. This cannon is what we need. Now we can head to the Snow Realm. Let's go. He's gonna teach me how to use the cannon, of course. Oh, by the way, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Let me see here. I totally forgot. Hang on. I have a button. To put a Teddy Ursa in my arms. Look at it. Do you all understand how much power this gives me as a streamer? Of course, now I have to make sure that I can hold a bear with the uh, commissioned one, so I sent off for that. It has been fun to figure out how to actually use this software. I didn't realize the blinking was just completely random. I guess that makes sense. I'll put the bear in... Uh, you know what? Chat can have a little bit of Teddy as a treat. Let's actually go to the dungeon now. I figured it would be fun to use it today because the, the Wii U DS layout is very, very empty. Hang on a second. I just realized something. It's double capturing the audio. There we go. Now we're going to go all the way over here. And we got a cannon. You guys let me know how the audio sounds. Because I have to lean down at the gamepad to see... Oh, oh, oh. You got a lot of work to do, so you're lurking today. That's no problem, Cringe. There we go. It is funny. Oh, hang on a second. Alfonso left us instructions for the cannon. To fire the cannon, calm down and focus on what you want to hit. But very smoothly, just tap the target. Your pal, Alfonso. That's the end of it. Shall I read it again? That's okay. Let's try it out right now. Let's see. Yeah, the other stream I used this in was Pokemon Blaze Black. And it's funny, because there was a moment I was showing off. Come on. Perfect. There was a moment I was showing off the design, and I didn't realize that Nurse Joy was telling me I got full odds Pokerus when it was happening. And that was hilarious. What a moment, I have to say. Let me see. I ain't gonna use it for every single stream, but I want to use it for some. The space is empty here. I just put a Teddy Ursa in the corner last time, and now there's one there, so... Oh, hang on. I didn't speed the train up. Sorry. I thought I dragged it there. Shoot. Feels a bit weird to get used to this again, but I'll be fine. Shoot. I gotta adjust my own volume a little bit. Pretty loud. Let's go. Sudden poker us. I know, right? It was weird. I woke up the next day, and I had a ton of messages, people saying they liked the design. A few people also sending me fan art. That was wild. Was not expecting that. Hmm. Toot toot. Hang on. Alright, just focus. Oh, I still have to do this. Oh, wait, no, sorry. The real map is unlocked. I don't need to do the Lost Woods stuff. Never mind. We just gotta follow this way, and it should be okay. Is it gonna actually go in there, though? Okay, good. Camera won't let me go over there. There we go. Graphics are a little dated, but hey, it's a DS game blowing up on this on the TV screen. Uh oh. Chat, you know what happens when spiders show up? Teddy runs away. Oh, he's gone. 
Sorry. You never got to do Lost Woods again. Good. Excellent. I was thinking um, my plans for next week. I was going to try and finish Pikmin 251. And the week after that, I was thinking maybe I could do uh, Mother 3. Let me see here. Isn't there a way to depixelate it? Um, the game? Um, that's not how that, that that's not how games work, my friend. There we go. Link, look out, hit the brakes. Why? We have a cannon. We need the cannon to go over this way. Hold up, we don't know what this is. I guess I can stop here. They clearly want me to. There we go. Let's see what this is. Rabbit Land Rescue? There's bunnies here? I have little rabbit ear headphones, and that man is not wearing clothes. Are we sure that we're... Maybe we need to rescue the rabbits from here. Well, this is an odd place. Okay. Bunnies! Welcome to Rabbit Land Rescue, the haven for rabbits and their furless friends. There are millions of poor rabbits without a home or human companionship. Here at Rabbit Land Rescue, we save those bunnies from the harsh wilderness and provide them with much-needed frolicking. You are here to frolic with the bunnies, right? Sure am. Let me be 120% clear. If your heart's not in it, you're, not, you're gonna get burned. Are you sure you want to frolic with the bunnies? Heck yeah, I like bunnies. They're like second to bears, I guess. Oh, boy. Let me see. Okay, I'm convinced. If you want to join the Rabbit Land family, you'll need this. You got the rabbit net. We're going to catch some bunnies? Why would I want to do that? Hmm? Why would I give you a net, you ask? Well, because if you want to frolic, you got to work for it first. I mean, what kind of person frolics with a bunny someone else caught? Rabbit Land Rescue takes care of the bunnies you bring in to frolic with. We even frolic with them when you're too busy to stop by. But never mind those little details. Now you know what we're about. Does everything I have said make sense to you? Yeah? I'd like to touch on how to use your net to catch our furry friends. You know what this guy looks like? You know that cutscene in Lies of P where the Black Rabbit Brotherhood walks out into the street with the coffin? Imagine if this chump was walking right behind them. That would be so funny. That would be so amazingly funny. <laughs> You may have figured it out for yourself already, uh, but let's review, shall we? When driving around, you might see a bunny peeking out from behind something. If you spot one, blow your whistle, the rabbit will jump and be easy to spot. When you see that, blast whatever the bunny's hiding behind with your cannon. That doesn't sound safe. The rabbit will try to run from you, but only because it likes being chased. I'm sure it's fearing for its life. I shot at it with a cannon. And then the hunt is on. Once the hunting starts, you'll automatically pick up your net then just focus on tapping the rabbit with the right timing to catch it. If you're careful, you'll have an adorable bunny in hand before you know it. If you fail to catch it, the rabbit will run off before long. Uh, sure did? Wonderful. Now go catch some of those poor homeless rabbits and tote them back to me. I've got lots of great prizes for you. Why do I get the feeling this is one of those Zelda things where I invest 20 hours into it and the most I'm gonna get is like 60 rupees? This game doesn't have heart pieces either, so maybe, like, an end reward could be... An end reward could just be, like, a heart container. It's just stamps? Lame. There's bunnies here, but if we can't play with no bunnies. I just watched that bunny pop into existence, right? Hang on, let me try that again. Now oh, it's gone now. You can find 10 rabbits in each of the following locations. The grass plains, the snow fields, the ocean, mountain, and the desert. Depending on what you bring back, I might give you a neat prize. Uh, no. Oops, I'm hitting the wrong damn button. No. Happy hunting. Excellent. Let's, let's leave. If we see any rabbits, we should try to catch them with the net. I don't think... I don't think I trust this guy with the bunnies. He doesn't look capable of taking very good care of them. He doesn't look capable of taking care of himself, to be honest. Yeah, let's go. Very well, let's be off. 
I wonder if he's the inspiration for that one rabbit dude in, um... Uh, Link Between Worlds. Not that I played that game. Let's go. Lorelai, are you here? Would you trust this guy with bunnies? I don't think you would. You would not trust him with Oscar. Toot the horn! Hang on, speaking of small little animal friends... Whoa, look at that! There's a Teddy Ursa in my arms now. Look at that. Uh-oh. Out of here, boars. Take that. Chat absolutely loved the freaking Teddy Ursa button last time. Like, I, al I already have just been putting a Teddy Ursa emote in the corner. Like, the ones chat can use, but just putting it in my arms is, is helping sell people on the PNG tuber as well. Ooh! This music. It's snowing. I haven't seen snow for years. Um, hold up. Okay. Guess we'll just go... Oops. We'll just go here for now. Since this is locked over this way... Going through the trains. Hang on, I feel like I can turn the game up a little. Oh, hang on. Moving around with the train was real annoying before I got the uh, cannon. Turning up a tad. Excellent. I was like, I'm, I'm gonna separate what streams I use this stuff for, but like, if there's space on the side, free real estate. I was probably going to use it for the Pikmin 251 finale, though, because uh, we have, like, one massive dungeon to do, and that game is like, not not been popular anyway. I'm going to do whatever the hell I want there. Excellent. Is that a bunny? Let's try this out. Okay. There's quite a delay on when the net actually comes down. You got a snow rabbit. Go show the guy at Rabbit Land Rescue. I'm keeping this rabbit far away from him. That. Yeah, I was thinking maybe Wednesday would be a good day to do that final dungeon. And then, um, because I'm doing two streams of Spirit Tracks per week, I'll have this game mostly done by the end of next week, I think. Go too slow. Didn't realize it reset things. There we go. Oh boy, so I think that'll be a good place to maybe... Oh, these guys again! I guess they wanted to reuse the models. Um, what was I saying? It'd be... Yeah, the week after next would be a good time to just start Mother 3. Mother 3 would be a good way to boost them numbers, save up some money for my model. Burr, the place is freezing. Though I can't really say for sure, seeing as I have no body. But enough talk, we should ask the villagers about the locomo in this realm. Now, we're gonna have to deal with the spirit flute again. I should mention right quick before people get on my butt about this, um... I know that you're supposed to wait for the locomo to, like, play first, then it's your turn. However, when I'm blowing into the microphone, I'm trying to get it ready for when it's my turn. The problem is the damn thing is so delayed, it looks like I'm- it looks like I'm playing at the wrong time from the footage. But I swear, I'm actually trying to do it on time, it just won't register the damn thing. What would you like to read about? Oh, this again? No thank you. Excellent. Yeah, that's right, sub goals. You see... These guys only showed up in Phantom Hourglass. Spirit tracks are clearing out and monsters are popping up everywhere. I tell ya, us an uh, Anaukis? Anuki? I'm gonna say Anauki are having a tough time of things right now. You see, we're a gentle bunch. We're thinkers, not fighters. Plus, we don't really got the guts for stuff like monster hunting. You gotta help us. Okay. Hmm. There's some creepy looking snowmen. Gonna have like a bit of a Zora's Domain looking house, if that makes sense. Rather the Zora's Domain rooms in Majora. Hey, guy. Yeah, you. You're not from these parts, are you? Hey, what's the stare? You're eyeballing me something serious. Don't tell me you've never seen an Aukies before. Pretty much, you say? Well then, how do you do? Nice to meet you. Since you've never been here before, you ought to visit the village honcho. Mr. Big Deal lives in the house sitting at the highest part of the village. Do you see this, Teddy? Look how comfy it is. Teddy needs cocoa now. 
Everything they own has faces on it. I don't like that. Remember, Chad, if you misbehave, I can just go... Whoop. The bear comes, the bear goes. And right now it can stay. Let me see. Remember, for legal purposes, I do not own this bear. He has merely wandered into the studio, and now he's just enjoying the stream with us. He has no attachment to my design whatsoever. Hey, guy, what you doing all the way here in the, in the snow? You part snowman? What? Do you know a fella named... Do I know a fella named Steam? Do ya? Steam. 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 Guy, I got it. Extreme. Extreme rhymes with Steam. How good am I? I guess you didn't need a rhyme, did you? Well, that's all I got. If you need another type of answer, go talk to the village honcho. He talks this way because he's got a mustache. That guy has not got a PC. All right, don't hit the icy choo-choos. They're too frosty. All right, okay, that's water. I couldn't tell if that was water for a second. Like, when I'm moving, it doesn't look like the water is really moving. I thought it was just an icy tile. Hey, you should check this again. Hint, hint. Okay. Orange, yellow, orange, blue. Okay. It's not working. Oh, come on. How did that count? How did that count? Thank you, Sam, for the reset there. I'm so happy I got this. I can't wait to use it. You got the Song of Discovery. Play it to find hidden objects. I don't think these objects are going to be worth it. All right, I already have one of those. Um, okay, I can hold two potions at a time. Guess that's okay. Hey, I know what you want to hear. You want to hear a story, don't you? Way back when, us and Alkies lived on an island in Case and Ice. That was in a different world, though. But one day, someone told us we couldn't just crash there forever. So we packed up our junk and set out in search of a new land to call home. Lots of stuff happened after that, but we ended up here. Village Sweet Village. How's that for drama? Brings a big fat tear to your eye, right? And then? Oh, intrigued, are ya? Piqued your interest, did ya? Sorry to let you down, but I've told you pretty much all I know. Oh, man. What a lame ending to the story. Let's go in here. Ooh. Oh, this is my second stream with the PNG tuber. Look at that plushie. Look at that bear. Eddie's real excited. Really, really excited to watch the stream. Hello, Mr. Mayor. If you're looking for the honcho of this place, you're staring right at him. What's that? You ain't looking for the village honcho? Mm-hmm. Not only am I the honcho of this little here little village, honcho's my name. Tell me, guy, was I not made for the job? But enough about me. Is there a reason you want to talk to me? Was that? You want to know how to get to the snow sanctuary. But the tracks going that way are all gone, my guy. Honestly, though, when those tracks disappeared, us Anaukis were shocked. Not only were the tracks gone, but monsters started popping up, too. We're in a real bind now. There's danger around every corner. Here we go. Wait, what are you doing? You're placing a bet on how long the next flute segment will take me, of course. No one is betting under 10 minutes. Unfortunate. Hello, friends. Welcome. Thank you. I like my model, too. You've got to help us. Seriously, guy. Please. Sorry about that little outburst. Us Anaukis can get a little, a little fiery. Ow. I, like, hiccuped and it hurt my throat. Ow. Ow. Oh, ouch. Give me, give me a second. Let, let me get a drink for that. Yeah, good call. Mm. 
Oh, is there a term for that when you like hiccup or something and it kind of just like like gut punches your throat or some or something? Oh, sorry about that. Us and Alkis can get a little fiery sometimes. Anyhow, I'm trying to put together a village watch to deal with the problem. Okay, I'm thinking pairs of villagers would work best. Safety in numbers, you know? Did you catch all that green guy? I follow. So I don't really have time to yak it up about going to the snow sanctuary. But I might be able to chat more if you help this old timer organize some teams. What do you say? Oh, fantastic. We gotta do the mayor's job for him. Like every adventurer. You think you're up to the task, buddy? I think the hiccups went away. You just gotta down a little drink for a second. Mmm. It's like swallowing and hiccuping at the same time. Oh yeah, that's a better way to describe it. Yeah, you got a real capable look to you. Well, do your best, but don't get worked up if the going gets a little tough. See, most of the villagers are a little picky about who they'll partner up with. Pairing them off is going to be a pain, but I think you got it under control. Talk with folks in town and come tell me when you found the best pairings. Catch all that? I sure did. You got to arrange the six villagers, including yours truly, into three, three pairs. I'm happy pairing up with any old Anauki, but some villagers are more picky. Talk to the villagers, take note of their preferences, and find good pairs. All right. So we gotta go find out um, uh, who's okay with partnering with everybody and who are um, uh, not so nice people, let's say. We've been given quite a task. Let's start by talking to the local villagers. Okay. Oh boy. Oh, no one bet on over 10 minutes, not uh, under 10 minutes. Okay, I misread. All right, let's talk to you. Hey, little green guy, here you're helping Honcho's form monster hunting teams. I pity you, I really do. See, us Anaukis can be pretty particular. Not old Yiko, of course. I'm a real peach. I just got one tiny preference. I'm not gonna name any names, but there's one guy in our village I can't stand. He's got wimpy horns and he dresses in blue. Oh, okay. Okay, Chad. He, he doesn't like the look of that guy's horns. He doesn't like, um color of their clothes. All right, then. All right, then. I don't think old Yeki is all that peachy after all. There's only one Anaki who fits that description, so you should know who he is. I'm not saying who it is, but, you know, you know, it's just a preference. You follow me on this? Good. See ya. Okay. All right, then. Wimpy horns and dresses in blue. Let's talk to these guys. Hey, guy. Name's Kofu. Nice to meet you, pal. So you're the guy putting together pairs for the watch. Can't wait. My thoughts? Won't work with anyone who's got big horns like mine. Mine are the best in the village. Maybe even best in the world. So now you know my only request, pal. Find me a good partner. Okay. Make sure we find someone uh, smaller than him. <laughs> you're cringing right now. From them, right? Not my anime. Listen, you've seen the design of the Anaukis and their personality? Look at me. I have headphones and a bear. That's uber cute. Hang on. Teddy shouldn't watch this. You know what? Teddy, you go away for a little bit. You don't need to see these horrible people. Bear is taking a break. Hey there, pal. Name's Bufu. Was that? No, not Boohoo. Oh, that gag's as old as the village honcho. Mm, so you're the guy making pears. You must be really bored. I mean, really nice to help us out with this. Just remember this. I can't stand Anaukis who grow the facial hair. They think they're so great. I mean, who do they think they are? Bah. All right, so pair him with anyone except the guys with mustaches. Okay. Um, no, no mustache, uh, I can't really put enough text in there. Yeah, chat can remember enough of it, I guess. Oh, hang on. Um... Dork. That's how I'll remember he's the guy that doesn't like blue. Hey, pal, here you're finding us partners out of the goodness of your heart. Real nice of ya. Maybe I can repay you in kind, sure. 
Hey, I'm not saying I'll find you a patrol partner. I just mean I'd do something nice for you. But enough small talk. How you doing? Call me Noko. Listen, us Anaukis can pair up with folks we find agreeable. I think I'm supposed to write their names on the map screen. Because he's going to ask me by their names and instead of just... No, you know what I need to do? I need to write their names and I need to draw lines towards each one I'm supposed to partner with. And that'll make it easier to input the answer to the chief. Yeah. Okay. Us and Aukis only pair up with folks we find agreeable. Me? My biggest gripe is guys wearing yellow. I mean, bleh. Okay, buddy. Okay, buddy. You got, you got a problem with people that wear yellow? The other people have a problem that wear blue? Does everybody in this town just hate me? <laughs> Do I not fit in anywhere? Can you imagine that, chat? Hmm? I mean, bleh, as far as I'm concerned, outside of bananas, nothing looks good in yellow. Okay, buddy. Okay. Do I want to live here? No, these people are awful, and it's cold. He's a puny horns guy, all right. Let's see. Oh, man, I do love a good banana, though. Anyway, good talking to you, pal. Hang on, I gotta write their names. That's the main one. That's what I should be doing, I think. So he's got wimpy horns. Just tell me your name. Okay. That's the best K I've ever drawn in my life. Good. Alrighty. I don't remember the rest of their names. I'll have to circle back around. Okay. You're pairing us up to take out those monsters? All right. I, for one, am pumped and ready to send those jokers running to the hills. He's got puny horns as well. You can actually see on the map which ones have a mustache and which ones have tiny horns. Well, I go by Agent Yellow. I'm sure you do. I mean, since we're forming elite teams, I figured I'd need a code name. Seriously, though, my name is Ye Yefu. If I was called Yefu, I'd go by a code name too. Oh, that looks like an A. It's too large. Hang on, I gotta fix this. I gotta fix this. I can do better. Yeah, Yefu. Now let's get down to business, yeah? My partner needs to move freely in the field, so no flashy horns. So flashy horns are a major no no. Oh. Okay, so he has to partner with the mayor, because the other guy doesn't like yellow. Mm. Thank you, Blazaga, for subbing there. 20 months. Remember to keep it simple. That rule may save you in the field one day. There we go. And no, I don't just say that because I got small horns. Gosh. <laughs> Everybody in this town is so insecure. Chat, I'm wearing yellow, I'm wearing blue, and my headphones are basically horns. How well-liked would I be in this town? Hey, little green guy, I hear you're helping Honcho form monster hunting teams. I pity ya. Okay. Yeah, you're Yekko. As in, yeah, you can go directly away from me. Oopsie. I'm gonna draw that there. Not gonna name names, but there's one guy in the village I can't stand. He's got wimpy horns and dresses in blue. Okay, so he won't go with Noko. Okay. So... Let's let's check everyone else's preferences. We're doing this. I'm gonna reread them and write their names. Okay, Kofu... Together pairs. Won't work with anyone who's got big horns. Noko won't work with anyone that's in yellow, so that means this guy has to work with Noko. Which means... Okay. Which means Yeko, by process of elimination, has to go with the last guy. Mine are the best in the village, maybe in the best of the world. Yeah, 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 Shora. Whatever. I don't remember what the Anauki puzzle was in Phantom Hourglass. I think I just guessed it right away without even understanding it. Hey there, pal. Name's Bulu. Oh, 
Was that? Not boohoo. Let's see. I can't stand Anaukis who grow their facial hair. Okay, good. That that fits the condition. Yay, puzzle solving. Writing things down. Isn't that cool? Oh, there's a crack there. I didn't notice that. Well, I don't have bombs. Hey, it's my guy. Got those patrol teams ready? Sure do. Yes, I knew you'd come through. Give me the lowdown. Uh, uh, oh. Are they organized the same way? Yeah, they are. Okay, okay. You with Noko, you with Yefo, and Yeko with Bulu. There we go. We did it! Booyah! There you go. You know, I think this is going to work out perfect. Um, I mean, you've just backed up what I was already suspecting. I just need you to double check for me. Just the same. Here's a thank you gift. Oh, look. Red rupee. The mayor's job has been done. Why are you still hanging around here, guy? I thought we were done. Uh, actually, you made me a promise. Oh, right! I was so jazzed about getting the teams together, I almost forgot to do my job. You were trying to make your way out to the snow sanctuary, weren't you? Meeting with steam, right? Well, it's a pain to get there, but here's the deal. Good news is that the snow sanctuary isn't all that far from here. Bad news is the only way there is out of commission. Technically speaking, the tunnel that goes there is still intact. But no one's used it since a ginormous monster moved in a few years back. See, us Anaukis are thinkers, not monster fighters. But I can tell you're cut from a different cloth than the rest of us, sturdier cloth. Sure, the tunnel to the snow sanctuary is scary, but you can handle it. Here's the entrance. If you decide to use it, be careful in there. You're a good guy. I'd hate to see you get hurt. Plus, I'd look like a doof if it got out I showed you how to get there. <sighs> okay. It was locked, though. Is he not going to give me a key for it? Ugh. Hang on a second, I'm stuffy. Um, I think we can leave this town, so... I'm going to bring the bear back. Let me do that. Teddy! Here we go. Chat? Now that we have the teddy, we know that we're ready. Let's go do that. Everybody loves a good bear. Teddy Ursa is the goodest of little teddies. I'm so glad we found out how to get to the snow sanctuary. Took quite a bit of work to get the information, but now our course is clear. Are you ready to set out and meet Steam? Yeah. All right, let's be off then. The bear has returned. Hmm? There's a ginormous monster along the way. I hope it's not too scary for Teddy. Now, this is a jam. Teddy jams right now. I broke the sign. Let's blow up some rocks along the way. What could go wrong with that? Let's break all the signs. Get out of here. They're getting scared, chat. Super scared. Use my headphones as an ice pick. I don't think they'd work like that. They're not that solid. I can see the monster up there. I literally just saw its face. Oh, it's got the eyeball. Ooh, that Wind Waker looking ass eyeball. Chat, we're gonna die. This looks like it was made for 3DS now. Hit the glowing eyeball. Just like that part of Resident Evil 2 where the monster's chasing you on the train. Except it's Zelda and not Resident Evil. Teddy is cheering as we blast this thing. Go, go, go. Hmm? Why haven't we made it out yet? Good question. Ah, oh, come on. Quick, we gotta get away. Shoot the horn. Okay. 
Okay, we hit enough times. So far, so good. Ah, come on. It's moving so fast, it's not letting me tap the eyeballs now. Come on. Okay, it's down. That's a big spooky crab thing. Crab gremlin rock monster? I don't know. No heart container inside of it, though. Okay, chat. Are you ready for innovation? I am. Daddy's ready, too. What was that, that thing back there? I've never seen a bug that size. People weren't meant to go there. Let's never go back, Link. You understand, don't you? No going back there, okay? You kind of have to sometimes, Zelda. What's this house? Wolves! Come on, hit him. Jeez, those things are finicky as hell. Wolves are down. Hey, this one's wearing red. Is he selling a heart container? This here is the Anauki General Store. Why is the General Store on the other side of the monster cave? They must really not like this guy. Heart container. It's 2,000 rupees. Well, I know what to do when I have 2,000 rupees. Come back soon, pal. Okay. He's wearing red. I don't like red. Can't believe they sell heart containers. No, you know what he did? He took the heart container from the monster and he's selling it now. That's what's going on. Stamps. This is a stamp station. Would you like to stamp Nico's stamp book? Yeah, three wolves. I killed them. All right, then. Okay, you guys are gonna be like this, so you know what? You can only really hit them with the spin slash, since they always jump when I tap them. Oh, crap. Oh, crud. Hang on. Okay, I thought that would work. Sanctuary's here, chat. Oh, I'm not looking forward to this, but we gotta get it over with. Oh, what's this? We're not done yet. When the door opens, head to the far room without being seen. And do it before the time runs out. Oh, okay, so I just need to make a path that, that doesn't show them looking at me. Okay, looks like this is the entrance. These guys still aren't looking. Okay, that's not going to be it then, because then I'll be seen. Unless I go up like this. No, you know what the best idea would be to do? Draw, like, a line from each one. That might be okay. And just avoid that, I guess. Okay, this one goes directly over. So it goes like that. Wait, but that blocks off the door. Can I move these? The Wait, no, hang on a second. This one's line of sight would be blocked by the... This dude. Okay, hang on, I get it now, I get it. Hang on. I see, I see. Can't see past each other. This puzzle made you grumpy? Well, we'll see what happens. Hang on. I kind of drew too many excess lines now. I'm going to get rid of those. Make it nice and better to look at, probably. Okay. 
Only pay attention to their line of sight and stop it at the next, um... Dude, okay. That. Okay, I can see the path, I think. This should work. No. Okay, there we go. That wasn't so bad. Oh, here's the bad part. Excuse me, are you the guardian of this realm? Engine told us you'd be here. Ho ho ho, nice to meet the both of you. My name's Steam. I indeed am the guardian of Snow Realm. Not hard to pick this old guy out of a crowd, is he? Hoo hoo hoo, I've heard all about you two. You want to restore the spirit tracks, correct? That I do. Such exuberance, such vigor in that voice. Now then, now that, my boy, is a reply. You've shown great bravery in coming here, and it sets my heart soaring. You possess a power vital to restoring the lost spirit tracks. Have you heard of the songs of the Locomos? Of course. As you know, the songs are made up of two instruments that play different parts. I'll teach you your part now, so listen closely, then play as I've played. When you've got it down, set your flute for just a moment. It's blue, white, blue, orange. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Oh, wait, no, sorry, I'm starting at blue, aren't I? I'm dragging it wrong. Ugh. Blue, white, blue, orange. It won't register it half the damn time. <sighs> Why? It won't register when I go to orange. Yeah, sure, let's pretend that works. Let's just get it to it. All right. Okay. <sighs> Gotta take a deep breath to blow long enough for it to register. Oh. My lungs need a second. <laughs> Imagine doing this on a 3DS XL where the mic is above the bottom screen. Oh yeah, hang on a second, let me get a drink. I think I found just the right distance to hold the gamepad away to make it register better, but that was literally perfect, come on. All right, then. was it? Alright, let's try again. 
blue, white, blue, orange. Oh, that one counted. That one counted, chat. That one was worse than my first attempt, though. Come on. That first one was literally as perfect as it could as it could have been, and it, and they still said blech. Well, we got it done fast. This is so finicky. You're telling me. You completed the duet with Steam, the locomo of the Snow Realm. The Snow Realm map has started glowing. Do you see that, Teddy? Look at that. We have a whole new map to explore. Teddy's excited. The bear is very excited. It had to be like... Eh, it was 3 minutes, 38 seconds. Damn. New record. New tracks have started appearing. I haven't been that nervous about performing in I don't know how long. Now the spirit tracks in the Snow Temple have been restored. Go forth and may luck be with you. Oh, but there's one thing I should warn you of. Ferocious blizzards have been savaging the area around the temple. Be careful on your journey. Well done, Link. Now let's head for the snow temple. I feel like I'm gonna, I'm gonna sneeze in a second. Oh dear, hang on. Ouch, I did. I did. Oh. Some people guessed right how long it would take me. How nice. <laughs> Good luck, you two. Well then. Well, what does he do around here? Does he have a room or is he just sitting in this rock room forever? Someone won a whole lot of Teddy tokens there. Yes, they did. Yep. Chat, when I can, and we do, like, the Mario Party CPU tournament, y'all are probably gonna bet lots of points on the different characters. Do something with them. I should put more redeems in for the PNG tuber. I said I was gonna have a state where I have a blanket with hot cocoa. That could be a redeem. Here we go. Now the tracks have been restored. What do you say we head to the snow temple? Okay. I thought it was still muted for a second. Oh my god. Let's see. Hang on. No, oh, no. Hang on, I dropped my thing. I am very stuffy after that sneeze. Redeem for head pats. If I get a little head pat animation, maybe. Ugh. Can the teddy be animated, too, like ear wiggles? That's extra money. Think I'm gonna pay for that? Teddy's just excited to be here. Ugh. One of the states I was gonna get was a little commentator mic. Let's see. Um, I'm guessing we have to find the right path to get through this. Is he gonna let us go? Listen to those. Listen to that music. What a jam. We're getting stuff. Break the sign, because of course we will. What's that thing to the right? Hang on. That's just an instant death train. That snowman head was trying to kill me. Mm. <clears throat> Ouch. Is it even gonna let me in here? I feel like I'm gonna need to find a way to get through this somewhere. Can't see anything. I mean, that's great. I have an overworld map. I don't need to. Oh. Where, where have I heard this music before? I feel like I've heard this in, in YouTube videos. 
Oh, Lost Woods also played it too. Yeah, you're right. Um, mm. let's go. Hang on. Bunny! Catch the wabbit. Play. Oh, come on. Rabbit has been acquired. You got a snow rabbit. Go show it to the guy at Rabbitland Rescue. What? Oh, come on. Well, that's odd. Where are we exactly? Hmm. It seems the blizzard pushed us back the way we... We literally did this exact same thing in the previous world. They couldn't think of anything else? Do I gotta go talk to the sanctuary guy about it, I guess? Let's go do that, I guess. There we go. It's lost woods, but cold. Lost colds. Excellent. Perfect. Or maybe I gotta find a place. It restored the spirit track, so hang on. Hang on. There's probably something over here that I can't see. Let's do that. Train's going backwards now, let's go. I can't go fast like this though, that's annoying. Why can't the train just magically flip around? Come on. Let's do this to back it up. Hmm? Try going around this way. See if there's a place for someone to talk to, because otherwise there's no reason for this area over here to even exist, I feel like. Hmm. Is the audio still good for you guys? Hmm? Oh, we're going into a forest here? Okay. It's extra frosty over this way. Snowmen! I hate when Frosty the Snowman comes to life and tries to kill me. No, you don't. I can see something there. Okay, let's stop in at this station. It's like a thing to go up a mountain. Well, Spring Station. Mm hmm. Well, it's not spring here, so that feels like a lie. I see a house and a cable car. A cable car in a Zelda game. This spring is absolutely beautiful. Is it? Let's have a see about that. It's not a cable car, it's a train car. A little train set. No, don't leave. Oh, look, there's a note on the top of the desk. Is that a path? How convenient. Need to get good shots of these hot new trains? I'll try these spots today. Hmm? Hang on. It's a little more lopsided, but it is the shape over here. Like, we're at the station on the side, so we need to go here, here, and here. Whoopsie. Locomotive Musings by Ferris. You know these archway things you sometimes see on the rails? 
Who made them? When? And why? I was up all night pondering these questions, but I worked out a hypothesis. I think you can use them to break the time-space continuum. There seems to be two types of these uh, space-time gates. I'm pretty sure you can use both of them to warp to and from places. One type has a triangle at the top of the arch, and the other doesn't. I think they work in pairs, and that hitting the triangle does something. I tried throwing rocks at a gate triangle south of Anuki Village, but bummer of all bummers, I couldn't reach it. I guess my arm's too weak. That's why I'm starting a new push-up regimen until I can hit the darn thing. Yeah, I can't pick up his camera. I guess we're looking for the dude around here, then. All right, let's get out of here. Anything I can do around here? Doesn't look like it. Wolves! They're trying to kill me. Why should I feel bad if they're crying? Oh, that's for the grappling hook, for sure. Chat, I don't think I care about getting that stamp station. This is going to anger some people who are completionists, but I just don't care about the stamps. I'm surprised anyone lives out here. It's awfully remote. Anyway, you want to get going? Sure. Let's go, Link. Let's go. Ch I think chat needs a teddy break. Do that. If I take the bear away, it'll be more special when it shows back up soon. Uh, let's go this way. I don't know if I can break those trains. What do the stamps give? The satisfaction of having wasted your time. Look at that. Teddy went to get more snacks, that's right. Excellent. Teddy is just doing their darn best, and we will hear none of it. I see someone there. Hang on. Get a little closer. Oh my gosh, you stopped? Um, so how's it rolling? Oh god, he looks like such a nerd, chat. Look at him. He's such a train geek. Hello, friend. Welcome to the stream. Hmm. When I first saw you driving the, the spirit train, I freaked. I was all like, holy cow, it's the spirit train. Say, you're that guy who just became an engineer, Link, was it? I'm Ferris. When it comes to trains, I'm kind of an, kind of an expert. You know, everyone else is too spooked to take their trains anywhere right now. But here you are, driving away. Very interesting. You just gotta tell me where you're headed. Uh, temple. Really? You're heading to the snow temple? Chugga chugga wow. That place is impossible to get to with the blizzard and all. This guy sounds like he'd be the worst guy to have around. But I hear that the tracks linking the sp tower spirits to the temple are safe. As in, they're protected from the storms. How cool is that? Say, maybe if you took those tracks, you might be able to reach the temple. Oh, I just remembered. I have an old map of the tracks around that area. Some parts are out of date, but the spirit tracks you're looking for are... Hang on a second. Oh, I gotta blow his freaking dandruff off his map. Imagine playing your game and you get to a part like this and you can't do anything because your mic don't work. I love how the microphone is pick is also picking up me blowing so it shows my open mouth on my model. <clears throat> Come on. There we go. No. Let me look at it. Yes, let me look at it for God's sakes. Okay, it brought it down automatically, which is why. Okay, I'm in memo mode, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do this. It's funny because I was actually taking the right path for a little bit. I suppose if you know, you could just, like, shortcut it, but whatever. How'd it go? Were you able to decipher the, decipher the path? Yeah. It's not, like, an extra trick to it, I hope. Well, if you ever want to look at my map again, stop by. 
For now, I'll be here trying to catch some killer picks of locomotives in action. So I'm guessing these three spots are areas he could be in. It, may, it might be like RNG or something, which one he actually shows up to. Or maybe they do the thing where it's a random answer. Something I know that Resident Evil 7 does. Let's stop at a station to, so the train will uh, reorient itself there. Hang on. Um... You can bypass it? Okay. Yeah, something Resident Evil 7 does is there's a part in the game where, like, you have to, like, input a number for a code, right? But you have to circle all the way around to get the code. And, um, there's three possible answers, right? There, and the game randomly selects one when you get to that part of the game. But if you try to be a little cheat and you input one of the known answers, it only lets you input a code two times before it tells you, now nah, I better go look for the code on my own. So if you pick two of the possible answers, the game will always default to the third one. Just to be like, hey, stop it. Stop trying to skip playing the game. There we go. No, 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 it's fine. I'm definitely not going to get all the stamps. I feel like I don't have enough patience or care to want to do that. Let's go, soldier. Okay, so now that we're going to... We know the, the right path. I think chat deserves a teddy. Boop. Look at that. Oh, oh. Wrong button, sorry. <laughs> I accidentally pulled up the save state menu for the Wii U. Bear! Exactly. Oh, hang on a second. I can increase the speed. Take that, Frosty. Let me get a drink while we go through this. Hmm. Hang on. I went to get a drink. I accept my losses. In Fable, if you try to cheat and dig up a treasure, the, gate, the treasure will be something terrible. Okay. There's a few games like that where if you try to, like, do the answer before you do the thing to get the answer, the game kind of acknowledges it in a weird way. Need some rocks. Here the train. Get the thing. Okay. Oh, boy. Gotta go all the way. The storm is something else. I can't see anything. Do, 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 do. Chat, would you enjoy a train ride in the comfy blizzard with the teddy? I would. Where would I send fan art? You could just like send me that on my Twitter or something. Or if you're in this or if you're in the Discord server, just put it in the art channel and tag me. Ooh, ooh. Get that there. Frosty! Okay, here we go. We're almost there. I'm just gonna go over this way. That. Do you see this crap, Teddy? You've been on a train ride today. Do you do them all the time? Like a sub like a subway ride? I mean like a real train though. Like out in the plains. Or whatever. Subways just would just be crowded with people. Not that I've been on one. It doesn't look appealing. Alright, let's keep going. Long travel trains are usually meant where you can sleep. It's gonna be comfortable. Yes. Ah, Frosty. Whatever. Watch out. We're almost there. It doesn't matter. We're almost to Temple 2, and it's... Really? It's been an hour? I don't feel like I've done that much. You were on a real train once to get to another town to see a friend. Ah, okay. I imagine that's more common in Europe, right? I'm in Canada. North America doesn't really have, like, trains like that for travel. So this is the Snow Temple. 
Are you ready for this, Link? Oh, no way. Oh, what kind of attitude is that to have? I'm not ready for it. The bear could get scared. I don't want scare bears. Well, I guess we should go inside and see what happens. Or one. Now, is this the same dungeon music as, um, Horus Temple? Snow is coming down from the ceiling, so that means there must not be a ceiling, right? The grass is just frozen, so I have to cut it. Let's get a better dungeon item, Teddy. Let's do it. Hmm? Look at that bell over there. I wonder if there's some sort of trick to it. Let's take out the icy boy. There you go. Oh, push puzzles on the ice. Hang on. Okay. Looks like I need to get it in here. So that I mess it up. Hang on, let me go in and out for a second. Let the annoying jelly respawn. Oh no, it stays there. Okay. Oh, this is this a sign? Oh, I see. Um. Bell, bell. Like for music? Don't think I get it. That's it. Hit the bell twice. That sign made me think something completely different. That's kind of dumb. <laughs> All right. Let's have another look around here, though. Can I do anything with these? Doesn't look like it. Okay, it looks like I can only push. Can't push onto the stone tiles, it seems. Oh, I see, okay. That's the case. Do that. Now I can, like, use it? Not enough, though. I guess I think I, I need to get it in the middle. That's what I need to do. Okay, it's gonna go that way. Yeah, I see what to do. Whoopsie. I don't think the game is gonna freeze. That'd be a little silly. Well, I made it this way. Let's see what this leads to. Or one. Well, that was pretty simple to figure out. Big brain Teddy strikes again. If I get mad, remember to chill. You don't tell me what to do, chat. Nobody does. Hang on. Okay, this is clearly they want me to push it into the water for something. Nope. Other side, dummy. Hang on, I have an idea. Oh, I can just reach that, I see. They wanted to do that to teach me that the wind blows the box around. I assumed as much, but I didn't see that little wind thing until I was about to try it. Come on. Oh, come on. Now we're bouncing. Set sail. No! Oh my. Come on. Guess I'm gonna sit there and just wait for it to end. Okay. Let's try that. Ba -ba -ba. 
me see. Time to click the thing. Come on. Go for a little ride. There's a chest down there, though. This better be good. Red rupee! That's not fair. You know how many more of those I need to buy a heart container? Too much. I gotta remember when I get 2,000 rupees, I want that damn heart container. I am asthmatic. We're trying to blow into my gamepad to play a game. Thank you, Lilac, for the resub. Give me, a, give me a second here. No! <laughs> Stupid thing didn't let go of the wind in time. but I don't want to wait anymore. Okay, I made it. I hope I'm almost done with this puzzle. Or item, I should say. Can't do anything there. Enemies are showing up. Get them! Okay, let's get them. No! Yeah. Yeah, get rid of you. Okay, this is probably the dungeon item, and we're probably done blowing things for a bit. Let me get a drink finally. I'm out of breath, chat. I'm dying. The boomerang! Oh, okay. That was item one in Phantom Hourglass. I'd much rather use the boomerang. Yay! Know how to use that better than blowing. Okay. Um. Bell, high bell, high bell, low bell? I d don't. Um... Hold up a second. This will probably drain the water, won't it? Where do you guys first? Oh, hey, a chest. I think I know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna hit those switch and it's gonna melt the ice. And then the bell will be low. Okay, I got a pirate necklace, but who cares? Okay. Now it's gonna open that. Oh, I think I get you now. I get you. So I need the bell to hit this now. Oh, I think I'm getting it. Okay, hang on. Is the high bell, and the one that's already down there is the mid bell. Hang on. Let's see. If I push this like that, I need to. Yeah, I see what I gotta do. Mm hmm. Hmm. Pardon me. Ugh. I can't believe how much I have to blow to get the gamepad to work sometimes. I'm actually a little bit out of breath doing that. Like, come on. I picked the perfect days to stream this too, right after I go to the gym. Done. Boomerang was like the best ado adopted weapon on DS. Oh, for sure. Hang on. Was that not it? Hang on. 
Yeah, I did two high bells. Try again. Do I gotta do it with the boomerang, maybe? Okay. Okay, there we go. Mm-hmm. I have my inhaler, don't worry. I'm not that dead right now. I have the I have the moral support of chat and the Teddy Ursa in my hands. And YouTube. Here we go. YouTube comments come long after I'm already done the session, but mm -mm, they're still there. YouTube is a positive bunch of beans. Here we go. I need to get fire on these torches, don't I? So we did that. No! What are you doing? Hit the bell! I wanted to see if that could work there. You get something in that as well. Probably fire. Um Chat, what did I what did I just do by doing this? No. Hang on. I just did this, but I don't see anything that's opened. I open a door down there. Oh, it was this one, wasn't it? Okay. I thought I thought it was um I thought it was the wood door to the north. I didn't even realize there was a door down here. That's why I was so confused. Okay. Any particular order to this? Find out. Nope, looks good. Oh, cool, it wipes the snow away. Oh! Oh, that's clever, I like that. Okay. Oh, hang on. Look at that. You try it, and then it starts to reveal stuff, and you're like, hey, what's that? The puzzles are very neat in this game. And all, there's really all puzzles that can only be in a game like this, though. Let me see. Oh, right, that's for Awakening. Uh, I don't feel like doing that. He's just gonna sell me stuff. Nothing over here. Wait, I have an idea. If I do this, will that make an ice path for me? I thought so, yeah. Perfect. Alrighty. This one definitely uses the microphone a lot more than um, Phantom Hourglass did. Uh, hang on. Oh, come on. Okay. Come on. Nice. Thank you, Fertilizer, for the resub. Oh, boy. It's an Octorok, that's right. Everything is nice and comfy today. Um... That's icy. There's no fire- oh wait, no, the fire's right here. Yeah, I thought it couldn't reach. Can the wind reach from here, or do I gotta use the ice? There we go. And that's gonna open that. Now we can use the ice to get over here.
Easy. He's gonna be in the way. Me. All right then. Looks like I'm gonna need to get fire here. Or, no, wait, no, I gotta transfer the ice over there, I see. Okay. Nope. Just do that. Let my little scribble go for it. Okay, after all that, we reach this. There's probably a useless chest on the right side there. I don't care about that, though. Chest and spirit tracks and phantom hourglass are kind of infamous for just giving you, like, junk that no one cares about. Especially since, like, the... I don't know the exact reason, but this game decided that there was just going to be no, um... No heart pieces at all. You can only find a few loose heart containers in the overworld somewhere. Um, so let's see. We can't reach that. Anything over here? Oh! Oh, I get ya. I gotta push it like that. Hang on, that's the... Hang on, where does this go? Okay, this goes outside. Yeah, there's something here. It's gonna be the bell solution, isn't it? Yeah, I knew it. They want me to- they give me enough room here because they want me to scribble the answer on the- on it. Chat, you also need to write it down too because I say so. You wouldn't want to let Mr. Streamer down, would ya? Okay, let me see here. Uh... I'll just draw three lines. Don't mind the fact that they're out of the- at all out of the way. That. 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 Oh, this is terrible. This is terrible! And one here. That's good enough. I can tell what it is. <laughs> I can tell what it is. Bell, bell, bell. Got it. Do ya? I don't think I can push the bell across this though, right? Oh, I need to get to that switch. I see. Hang on. I see. Get it? Because I see? I'm such a genius, chat. My comedy is wasted in streaming. Hang on. Let's go. Yay! <clears throat> Pardon me. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I've got that sorted out. It seems like... If I push that like that, then that'll go there. And yep, I think I got it. Mm-hmm. Push it down like this. Okay. Yo, chat, I've been watching some videos about, like, blindfolded speedruns lately the Mario 64 stuff, and, the, and how, like, people figured out how to, like, do 120 that way, but, like, I can't imagine playing a game like this blindfolded. You literally would not be able to do it. Hang on. Let me see. You could pretend. Hang on. Like that one guy. I think every, by now everybody has seen that one video about that guy who fa who tried to pretend he beat Mario 64 blindfolded, right? That video went super viral, so I imagine he, uh... Oh, you've got to be kidding me! <sighs> At least it goes back to the right spot. Okay. Bet that dude super regretted that. Nice. 
So now we gotta transfer the flame. This. The guy with that Broly shirt. I don't even remember what his shirt was. He was just the dude who did the very obviously fake blindfolded speedrun. And the next month, it, like, some dude made a video about it and it got like millions of views and the internet like blew up making fun of him. And he tried to be like, guys, it was just a joke. I wasn't, I wasn't serious. Um, but he totally was. It was a couple years ago at this point. Man. Let me see. Let's see. Okay. Now this is the part where I rage and not get it done. Oh, come on, let's go. Let's go. 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 No! Oh, I fell. That's fine. That's acceptable. Oh, this is a little awkward when I'm sliding. <laughs> I can't tap the thing. Perfect. Okay. That's the low bell. That's the mid bell. That's the high bell. Okay. Let's see. So it goes... Low. Mid. Mid. High. Mid. Yay! We did it! Except a bell. Ha 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 ha. Nothing will ever top the Halo guy. Oh, I actually watched like a breakdown of that run. That was so funny. So for those of you who have never heard about this, right? There was this one dude who... Oh, hang on. Do I have anything to hit you with? There was this guy who like was a Halo 2 speedrunner and... Basically, a lot of his, his speedruns were, like, spliced and cheated, right? But for some reason, even though he obviously knew he was cheating... Bosky's already there. Um, he decided to go to, like, a live charity event to perform a speedrun. And he just didn't know what to do. And it went so, like, terrible. And it was just cringy to watch. He had to lower the difficulty twice. And it's like... What, why would you why would you agree to do that live if you know you're not really good at the game? Why would you accept then? Yeah. Like, I don't understand people. Oh, well, I, I edited the run together, so I guess it'll it'll look good enough. I probably know how to do it. Oh man. It was so painful to watch. I know, I can't believe he actually did it. Oh my gosh. Let's poop you there. One of my personal favorites, I mentioned this on stream before. Oh, hang on. There's the code. Okay. I'll do circles for ice and X's for fire. Hang on. Okay, one of my personal favorites was, um, this guy who faked a Minecraft speedrun, and when he got caught, he claimed his excuse was that he wanted to impress one of the, uh, the girl mods for the Minecraft speedrun server, and, um, and, and what ended up happening was, like, said mod basically said, oh, I already have a girlfriend, and he basically just deleted all his accounts out of pure shame, because everyone was just ripping into him after that. <laughs> it was already bad enough. Oh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, hang on. Okay, I can't take it with the boomerang. So let's just go ahead and use the fire now. I know. It's, it's like, that's the worst excuse when you get caught speedrunning. I was trying to impress a girl. I don't think that girl's that impressed. Ladies, would that impress you? Write down in the comments below if... Oh, I have to do it all in one sweep. Okay, I get it. I get it. Hang on. So first we'll do it like this. Then we'll go like that. I feel like the boomerang was a lot more limited in targets when um, it was in Phantom Hourglass. I think they extended it. That's the worst excuse from anything. You don't recover from that. <laughs> yeah. It would be a nice gesture, I guess. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, hang on. Gotta fight an enemy. Hang on. 
Aha! Boomerang gets him. Why do they gotta yelp like that? I don't feel good about this. We did it. Puppies are down. Yeah, let me see if we can get that boss key. Looks like we're near the very end. I've been in here for about a half hour, it looks like. Um. Okay, it's not timed. Good. Am I supposed to, like, blow this, I think? Yes, I am. <laughs> now we just gotta carefully carry it. Hang on. Pick up the boomerang, because we're probably gonna need that for the boss. Let's do it. Oh, boy. Let's go. Sparkles are where my stylus are right now. Let's do it. Eddie's impressed by my gameplay right now. Chat adores the teddy ears in my arms. I keep meaning to put it away more. I can't attach it to my persona a little too much, chat. Needs to be legally separated. Ugh, there, there we go. That's the anti-lawsuit button. Give it a break. Step into the blue light. Oh, right. I keep forgetting this is in every temple in these games. Hmm. Ah, getting a drink there. Oh, boy. Oh, maybe I should get one of Cub Chew. Wait, no, that's more legal problems. What am I saying? Ignore that. Boss fight. We're outside. Dun dun. Say it's a pal, Teddy. Braz, master of icy fire. Bro, that's a moblin with that, that's a little bit large and got uh eyes. Come on. Okay. Just had to lock on to him a little bit better. Now he's splitting up like that ghost from the Earth Temple. Ah, oh, come on. Okay, now they're all mixed up. He's like Twin Rova from the dollar store. This boss feels like just a bunch of other bosses mixed into one. Wow, he's getting rid of the torches. He's so mad about it. Okay. I think I just need to wait for him to shoot that. Okay, now that's a fiery field to use. I need him to go fire, though. There we go. Ah, damn it. Oh, I got hit multiple times with it now? Oh, damn. That's annoying. Okay, no problem. Just gonna wait, I guess, now, since there's no torches. I'm having trouble locking onto him sometimes. Oh, that just inflated him again, damn it. He switched right as I hit him with the last one, I think. Okay, now he's doing another twin phase. That one's fire. Yeah, I see. 50-50 shot. No. 
No, hit him. There we go. Okay, I just barely managed to hit them there. That's annoying. Okay. Ah, oh, come on, dude. Now we just gotta sit here and wait for him to do his thing, I guess. Let me just get some hearts right quick. Since I keep bumping into them. Maybe it's because of the camera angle or something being slightly different, but I keep kind of just like not going the way I want. Damn it. Ah. Fire keeps going away before I can reach it too. Come on. Damn it. <sighs> yeah, 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 buddy. Hang on, I should just use one of the potions. Play it safe. This boss just feels awkward. I'm not don't feel like I'm really going the way I want. Now we gotta wait. Oh come on! Dude. That should not be freaking hitting me. I'm not moving fast enough. Dude, just th oh, come on. Now we're stuck waiting again. There we go. No, why it's so hard. There you go. Oh, that just felt awkward. I didn't like that one. Destroyed him and we got the gray force gem. That's about all he's worth. Gray. You believe this crap, Teddy. Oh wait, you can't. Teddy's not here. Yo. Hmm. I can't move and aim the boomerang at the same time because I have to touch. I have to use the touch screen to move, but the uh, I have to draw a path the boomerang with the stylus. Ugh. At least it's a little easier when you use the L and R buttons to activate the boomerang instead of touching the icon. Touching the icon for the uh, items during fights sounds annoying as hell. We got the next section of the temple unlocked. Yay! I don't really have a shortcut back there though, do I? I didn't really activate those gates, because I didn't realize I could do that. Yay! Cubes. They are indeed cubes. Oh, wow. Just notice we have a lot of people here. I don't know if, like, the PNG tuber is giving me slightly more views than normal, but it's so far it's felt like that. Do people just see it on the Twitch homepage or something now, and they see anime in the corner, and like, I'm gonna watch this. Anime sells. You know what else sells, chat? Bears. And now we have one. You did it! You could have been frozen stiff or burned to a crisp, but you avoided both. Yeah, yeah avoided wasn't isn't exactly the word I'd use for that fight, Zelda, but sure, I'll take the compliment. Sorry I couldn't be more help when you were risking your life. The snow rail map started glowing. Oh, we can go back to the temple from here. Oh, that's why it's in the center. That's handy. That is very handy. What a good idea. The tracks of the Tower of Spirits have been restored. You've got a heart container. Increase your life by one and refill your hearts. All right, now let us never talk about this fight again. It was perfect. There are no suits of armor here. She can't possess the, uh, the phantoms. 
Great job, Link. Let's get back to the Tower of Spirits and tell Engine the good news. All right, I gotta tap her. Yep. All aboard! I can't believe Zelda's dead. We won. We did it, Teddy! Teddy looks so excited when I look at it. Look, look how happy that bear is. Do I still have to follow the storm? No, they're moving. There's bombs here now, so now we don't. Okay. I see Beetle. Beetle is flying across the map. Look, the sun came out. It's so nice. Frosty the snowman needs to die. Not exactly what I think of for a Zelda enemy, but what do I know? are just in the way. Look at them. You didn't like that boss either. It gave you headaches trying to do it on DS. I don't know. I don't think it's the I don't think it's the Wii game Wii U gamepad. It's just the fact that the fire often goes out as you're throwing the boomerang. So you don't get done what you actually want. No oh, crap, I can't see. Hang on. Oh, seriously? Are they both going that way now? Dude, these random bomb trains are a pain in the ass. They're both going that way. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna back up into this. So we can turn the train around. I think this is why I much prefer using the boat and Phantom Hourglass. Okay. Now we should be more than okay to do this. Toot the horn! Teddy looks so happy when I toot the horn. I mean, Teddy always looks happy. Chat, the only way to make a Teddy Ursa cry on this channel is to spam the crying Teddy Ursa emote. You wouldn't do such a thing like that, would you? You'd never do something like that. Yeah, we should be fine. We can reach it. No one on this channel would willingly make a teddy or a cry. Give the give your bear a treat. Okay. Are they coming? No, we're getting away. They're not gonna follow. Yeah, they're not coming. We're good. Don't talk about how tasty bears are. Don't eat them. They are friends on this channel. Friends, chat. Just like rabbits. Mm-hmm. All right. Beetle is flying all over the place. I don't really want to stop at him, to be honest. It looks like too much trouble. Right now, anyway. Dude, plus I want to save up for that heart container. Rabbits are also tasty. Don't talk about the- that's it. I'm hiding the bear. Chat can't be trusted. Ursa privileges have been revoked. There's something here. Let's see what this is. We got... Bridge workers home. Bridge. Hey, it's you. Say, if it isn't you again, what's shaking, pal? You ever seen that big stone arch that stands over the tracks? Makes you think, doesn't it? Who made it? For what? What a mystery. You hear the triangle-shaped thing at the top of the arch does something, but only if you hit it real hard. 
I don't even know what that thing is, but could it, what could it be? Have I seen that yet? Sorry for my rambling. I get excited about rad stuff. Intent activated, dummy. Chat, free mail. Bro, he's just coming out of nowhere. Hey, howdy, mister. I've got a letter for you from Mr. Beetle. He said something about opening up a shop in a hot air balloon. Wacky. Oh, here's your letter. There you go. Letter from the postman. Okay, I've delivered your mail safely. My work is done. I'll be off. Choo choo! Alright then. Check the collection. Greetings, there's a new shop in town, Beetle's Air Shop. We're having a bomb bag blowout, so keep your eyes peeled for a hot air balloon. Wow, Beetle was actually doing an airship before Skyward Sword. Amazing. Alright then. No temple clear. I didn't really get anything for that though, right? Recruit uniform. I have caught a whole bundle of two two rabbits. I like how my engineer certificate is here, just so everyone knows I'm certified. Whenever anyone shows up the chat and questions my qualifications for running the train, I can just bring that out and be like, yeah, hell yeah, I'm certified. This is the bridge worker in Phantom Hourglass still. Hey, what are you doing here? Actually, you're trying to restore the spirit track. Sounds like a ton of work. Hmm, that's a big heart you got there, little guy. I suppose being an engineer isn't all red carpets and caviar, is it? Sometimes you're just gonna roll up your sleeves and put in some hard work. See, I'm a bridge worker, carpenter, and craftsman, so I know all about work. Need a bridge? I'm your guy. I'll travel to any place that needs a bridge. It's called being a professional. That's why I expect you to restore the spirit tracks like a pro, too. Also, I don't mean to, like, dismiss, um... Dismiss any, like, of this Link's accomplishments, right? But, like... You know... This Link doesn't really do a whole lot other than ride a train to the temple and then do the temple. All the other Links have to, like, do a lot more to get to their temples, do a lot more traveling. This Link just, like, gets on a train and draws a path. And sometimes has to avoid things. Like... I feel like... I feel like this Link's got a little bit easier than his ancestors. Howdy there, mister. Mail for Link from the guard captain. He's also the only Link that has an education, too. He drives the train. I mean, yeah, but... Seems he thought up a new training regimen and is, is as giddy as a schoolgirl. Okay. Do the guy a favor and show your face around the castle sometime, okay? Oh yeah, before I forget, here's that letter. Here you go. Got a letter from the postman. Back in my day, my ancestors had to bomb hyperslide across Hyrule Field. Now you just kids ride a train across it. Okay, delivered your mail safely to you. Well, my work seems to be done. I'll be off. See you around. Choo choo. From Russell. Hello, recruit. How's the sword training going? You should consider testing your skill against more experienced swordsmen. You want to take your technique to the next level? Stop by the training room in the castle. We're waiting for you. All right. I guess. Maybe. So, like, did talking to this guy really do much for me? Let me double check him. I'm the bridge worker. No one builds him better than I do. You need a bridge or a fence built? I'm your guy. I guess we go to this guy when we need to, like, build a bridge. I don't think I have any bridges I need built right now. Oh, we stopped here. And we got some mail. Mail is cool. This is where the bridge worker lives. If we ever need a handyman, we'll know where to go. They just wanted me to stop here to make sure I know where he is. Link in Zelda 1 and 2 got to walk everywhere, but then the other Link's got horses. Oh, yeah, it gets even worse the further you go back. Laziness throughout the timeline.
Let's go. Riding a boat is scary. Okay, I don't know. I don't know about you, but the ocean terrifies me. I don't want to like. I I don't want like the idea of being out on it on a boat. Hmm. Hello, friends. Welcome. You like my VTuber design? Thank you. I like it too. We got more. We got like um. I should re reiterate again, this is like a quick gift one that Yo-Yo and Friends whipped up for me. I have like actual commi a big commissioned one with uh, states coming in for the PNG tuber. This is nice. It blinks it's like I'm there. Oh. Let's do this. Gif or gif? No, it's not a gif. Oh, there it is. No, this is a different kind of gate. He's talking about the big arch ones. Did I see that somewhere? Chat, I don't remember bumping into one of those teleport arches, if that's what they do. Well. There was one earlier. Well, damn, I just missed it. It appears you succeeded in restoring the second area of the spirit tracks. Well done, you two. I can feel the energy flowing back into the tower. It's true. Link isn't one who gives up easily. I wish I could have helped, but in this form, there wasn't much I could do. It's enough that you're by Link's side. It's all the help Link needs. Thanks, Link. Now, where should we go to restore the third section of the spirit tracks? Next is the ocean realm. Oh, yes, the ocean haven't seen that one before with these links. Once again, you must climb the tower and retrieve the next rail map. That's what I thought. All right, we'll be back with it soon. Come on, Link, let's go get it. Okay, now we're gonna need Zelda to get in there. Wait, wait a second, chat. When Zelda takes control of a phantom, does the phantom become her VTuber? Like it moves around based on her movements. Zelda is a VTuber, confirmed. the top. Oh, this takes a little bit. I think I can use the elevators to go up now, can I? I think before they said they could only go down, but I didn't test it. Oh well, who cares? Wow, it's awfully dark in here. I can't see a thing, Link. A place this creepy might even have ghosts floating around. Wait, I'm a ghost. You're not scared of me, right? Actually, I am, now that I know you're a VTuber. Don't say that! This is only a temporary thing. I wasn't like this before. Just try your best to keep us out of the dark, okay, Link? Oh, oh, gee whiz. Isn't there, like, more I can do to see here? Guess we're gonna keep lighting the torches. Again, this track reminds me of, like, something in Mischief Makers, for sure. Boop, boop, boop. Hang on. Yeah, it's definitely a bombable wall right there. I can't boomerang those? Okay. Let's wait for it to come here. Now I'm Dark Link. Yes, I am. They want me to draw a map here, but I feel like that's going to take too long. But I might as well just look at my screen on the actual gameplay. Oh, hey, what's this? You got the ancient gold piece. Damn, that's a that were, that's a pretty damn penny. Check it on the collection screen. Just holding it in your hand seems to take you back to long forgotten days. Uh, okay. Oh, it's worth 500. Oh, I could start selling some of this stuff. It wouldn't get me to that, um... I think this stuff is only good for selling, right? Step back in time. It has a Triforce on it, yeah. Or you use them as, like, for tr trading for someone that wants a specific item, I guess. Okay. 
Let's light the way. Aha! Get spooked, buddy! What's this? Something's written here, but it's too dark to read it. Well, should we should do something about that. This is what happened when a Link doesn't get himself, um... Hang on. When Link doesn't have himself, uh, a lantern. Well, whatever, we can ignore him. Doesn't seem like there's a way for me to light up the room. I, there's no way in hell I can carry the fire there for the split second to read it. I'm just gonna go upstairs. Okay, flaming hot phantoms, everybody. Wow, they have a big cone. Look, Link, that phantom has a light. Oh. I see now. They really want me to draw the whole floor based on what I can see where the walls are, but that that, that that's going to take too damn long. I don't want to do that. Best to just light the torches for now. Come on. Ah, dude. A little further. Damn it, it hits a wall. Blow out the lonely torch in a corner on this floor where phantom where the phantoms tread. Then you will see a faint light. Okay. The lonely torch in the corner. Write that down. No, no, no. Don't tell me what all the treasure and stuff is for. Let me figure that stuff out. Okay, we're in the safety world. Gonna get the tears of light. I can't hit the phantoms <clears throat> for Zelda to enter them until after I get the tears. Not do that now. Do this. Be very careful, chat. Don't wake the bears. Hmm? <clears throat> Ouch. Hang on. I, <clears throat> I need a drink. Uh, my throat feels messed up after that. Ugh. You know what we need right now, chat? <clears throat> we could use a moral support, Teddy. Oh, look at that. Where'd that come from? There's a bear in my arms. Holy crap! Isn't that cute? Now that we get one of these, anything is possible. Okay, let's do that. Don't see anything here. Oh, I see it now. Hang on. Ah, oh, it's gonna go all the way around. many walls in the way. Teddy is back, and he's more happy than ever. You got a tear of light? Gather three of them and power up your sword. Hmm. Where's that third one, though? Okay, these guys are just in the way. Can't reach that. Doesn't go all the way there. Ugh. Dude, get get out of here. They're in the they're in the damn way, so I can't reach the damn torch. There we go. Okay. Okay, so this is like a square room. I get it now. Oh, 
Okay, that works as a little light. Uh-oh. Okay, we did it. We're looking for a torch to blow in the corner. Hmm. Stop toying with emotions. Watch me. That's what would, that's what streamers do. Look. No Teddy. Teddy. No Teddy. Teddy. Broken hearts. Wholesome hearts. Oh boy. Hang on. Do I make a spark when I hit the wall? That's not a very reliable way to do things, though, I feel. Uh-oh. Hang on. Can I... Hang on, I blow this out with this, I think. No, 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 not the collection screen. Oh! I get it. I get it. I'm gonna go around, though. That's clever. We did it! Heck yeah. Now that you have all tears of light, your sword is full of energy. Chat, just dip your sword in a little bit of orange juice and you get that funky vitamin C to do things. Now you can attack a phantom by hitting them in the back. Oh, hitting him in the back. All the phantoms are guys. All right, chat, you ready to unleash the power? Uh, they're gonna, they're gonna close in on me. Going live. VTuber Zelda has been summoned. Yay, I'm a torch phantom, so I've got this great sword to light the way. Now there's no need to worry about the dark. Yay! No more bears being scared of the dark. Okay, then. You can follow me. I don't think they actually do want me to draw the map. They just don't show it, because it would be obviously really cheesy and ruin the darkness effect. Would defeat the whole point of it, yeah. Now that we've done that... Zelda needs to follow us. We need to head all the way back down there. We need to go back to where that little torch was. Come on, Zelda. You can reach it. Yeah, I need her over here. Did she do this? No. Go down here. Oh, I can finally read read that other one, can I? That's on the previous floor. I don't think I need to get that if that's the case. I'll call her. Keep walking with me. It's not like Temple of the Ocean King. I'm not going through this several times, so... We can just do it like this. We don't have to, like, write any extra things down. Come on, Zelda. Good, good, good. You can light these, right? Heck yeah, you can. Let's do it. You know, this is a sequel to Phantom Hourglass. You see... And Phantom Hourglass is the sequel to Wind Waker. Floor 10. I can see a boss door. It's like Zelda. Light the way for me, please. Okay. Hang on. Let Zelda go on her own. No, no, no. I don't know what I just hit, but... Okay, it's this. We did it! 
that close it? Okay, good. Ah, crud, I need her back here. Hang on, let's just call her and let's go. Chat, look at me, I'm Dark Link. Isn't that cool? Isn't that funky? Watch where you step, illuminate as much as you can to find the answer. Wow, that's some great advice for the dark dungeon room, everybody. Light things up, and you'll figure it out. Words of wisdom. I'm, I sure am glad I wasted time getting Phantom Zelda all the way back over here so I could learn this great piece of wisdom. Here I was, gonna try and do everything without any light whatsoever. Yay. Illuminate as much as you can. Oh no, I would have fell into the darkness if I didn't fall for that hint. Or I didn't read that hint, I should say. Oh, Zelda, go. This truly is the Legend of Zelda. Here tracks for Nintendo DS, released in 2009. Rats! Rats! Where are they? Okay, rats are done. Our rats are gone. Let's do it. Oh, big chest. Give me that. Dark pearl loop. Yeah, whatever. Alright, Zelda, let's go. It's too far behind when I call her. I need to have her move ahead. Now, is this gonna hit a wall down here? It is. Hang on, what's this? Oh, it's a big block or something. Hey, there's that thing that tells me to light the way. Let's see. Do we count CDI? I don't think anybody counts Zelda CDI as real video games. Okay, call. There's no phantoms wandering this floor now that I see. Okay. Hang on. What am I looking at for? What's the significance of this? It looks like a code? Seven, maybe? Hold up. I should get rid of these guys before they cause trouble later. <clears throat> they were a pain in the ass before. No. Okay. Is it a big two? What about over here? Okay. Looks more like a Z. Let's just go this way now. Break these guys. Let me see. How much would it cost to get the VTuber to drink water when I do? I feel like that would require a little bit of animation, but hang on, I'll hydrate. These dark floors are actually pretty damn annoying, I gotta say. What's the significance of the Z? Do I have to draw it? The Seeker of the Key must draw the symbol that sleeps in this room. Easy. Electrified. Uh, do I blow at it, maybe? Oh. Okay, maybe she needs to pick it up. Pick it up. Get jorted. Hang on, I'll stretch. Oh, there's the phantoms. Or the hands. Pardon me. 
Uh oh. We've been found. I'll carry the key. You take care of covering me, Link. Oh, nice. The whole room's lit up now. Hang on, let me take out the boomerang. Don't think the boomerang works on them. Okay. Good, good. That was pretty easy. We're gonna need a big key to open this. Gee, I, gee, I whiz, I wonder how we do that, Zelda. Electrified. Link does have different voice clips in this game. Yeah, I noticed that too. <clears throat> Jeez. Pardon me. I'm talking to my own air. It's not the same voice clips as Wind Waker and Phantom Hourglass Link. They use the same model, but they change the voice for some reason. I wonder why. I think they could just recycle the clips, I guess. Hang on. Last time I did one of these fights was awkward as hell. Okay. Okay, that went much smoother this time. Hmm. Maybe to show that it's a different Link? Yeah, people might assume it's the same Link. I can imagine kids being dumb enough to think that, yeah. Yeah, but they've reused the same voice clips for multiple different links in the past before. Like, that's definitely something they've all they've always kind of done. Phew, that was getting pretty scary. I think I was here to help defeat him, right? Right. Like, they use the Wind Waker voice clips in Four Swords Adventures, too. Yes, I helped defeat a monster. Just leave it all to me, Link. Well, we got a big chest now. Let's see what this got. You got some Goron Amber. Heck yeah. Call, call, call. And did we hit the end of this? Okay, good. We're done. The Honey Glaze has left the sword. We've made it to the rail map room. Did we? Let me check it. You got the ocean rail map. By the way, um, I don't. How many temples are even in this game? There's only four areas. And let's see. This is only the second episode, and I I'm at like the second half of the map now. Some of the lost spirit tracks are reappearing. I think like five. How many did Phantom Hourglass have? I think it had like three initial ones, and then like the second half of the game, I needed like two or three more. This is just getting easier every time, don't you think? Well, we should try for the next rail map. Uh, let's go. Now, that's the attitude of a true hero. Thing is, the way the next level's blocked off, so we can't go on. Come on, let's go back to talk to Anjan. That's right. Silly Zelda, she forgot how this works. Zelda talks for me. Can't write on this map? You don't tell me what to do. How dare you, game. I see you've retrieved the third rail map. Now you can go to the ocean realm. The guardian of that realm is named Carbon. <laughs> okay. Okay. <sighs> Find him and ask him to open the, the route to the temple of the ocean. And reach the ocean realm by way of the forest realm. River in the southeast divides the two realms, but there is a bridge there. You can use it to cross the river. Let's go. I would count the ghost ship as a temple, yeah. Temple of the Ocean King is like one temple you visit throughout the entire thing. No, it's kind of a different case. Like, you know what I mean. There's Beetle. I'm gonna go this way and hope no one bothers me. Let's go. A 
let's do it. Phantom Hourglass had quite a bit then, yeah. This one doesn't seem to have as many temples. I'm assuming there's a temple in each of the four quarters of the map, and then I have to do like one big final stretch of the spirit temple. Unless there's like three magical other temples that appear out of nowhere. Oh, hang on, I forgot to go double speed. Toot the horn! Have I saved in a while? No, I have not. I have not saved once today. Let's go, everybody. I'm sure we'll figure it out when we get there. Okay, they're both going this way. I got super lucky. We can ignore him now. I don't remember this game being super, super long. The budget went to the train. Chat, they're coming to get me. Those trains are deadly. Are they gonna outspeed me? I don't think they care if they get hit with a cannon. It seems like they rumbled them a little bit. Okay, they're gone. Hey, it's Beetle! Let's knock him out of the air. Hey, hey, don't walk by me. Oh, come on. You're telling me none of that got his attention? What was I supposed to do then? Hang on, I see this here. There's no crystal on this one. Well, that's fantastic. <laughs> Only if I pop the balloon? I tried shooting at it, like, a different ways. Did I not hit the balloon at all? I guess not. There's no crystal on that thing there, so I can't do that. Things feel a little needlessly complicated here. There's mini blends. You did not just do that. All right, you're getting hogged. Let's go ahead and stop here. Wait, did they say bridge? Oh, no. 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 I'm gonna need to go talk to that guy. Oh, what a pain in the ass. I blew the whistle, too. That didn't work, either. Who knew there was a tiny station all the way out here? Why don't we see who lives in that house over there? Uh, I see a dungeon, or not a dungeon, a little cave there I can get into. Whoa. Just look at that bridge, it's a complete mess. How are we supposed to get the other side with the bridge in this state? Maybe someone around here can fix, us for us, can fix it for us. No. Why is there a tingle JPEG? Oh, hey, how's it going? Well, 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 what do we have here? What do you want, rupeeless ragamuffin? There's no place for the likes of you. Shoo, shoo already. Get out of here. Hmm? What's that? You? What's that? You say? Who am I? Yeah. Listen well and remember the name, Squirt. I'm Linebeck III, president of Linebeck Trading. I hunt down the rarest antiques from around the world. Then I sell them to the highest bidder. How's that for an introduction? Did I just blow you away? Not really. Oh, is that so? Well, urchins like you prove that the youth of today are just clueless. Well, I've got work to do, and you're in my way. Go find someplace else to loaf. Yeah, he's, uh, Lineback's grandson. You again? State your business. You rock. Well. 
Well, you do make a good point there. I am pretty spectacular. You know, I had noticed before, but you possess a certain charm, Squirt. But what are you doing here? You don't look like you've got a treasure to sell. Hmm? You're trying to get to the ocean realm, but the bridge is out. Well, that's a sticky situation, isn't it? Yep. But I agree that the bridge is a sad mess. The huge storms we had really did number on it. I was going to call the bridge worker in the snow realm to fix the mess, but with the spirit tracks vanishing, I've got bigger fish to fry. See, I deal with merchants all over the world, and I can't get anywhere now. Wait, you're an engineer, aren't you? Well, that's just perfect. Go fetch that bridge worker so we can both get on with our business. Sound good? Okay. Woohoo! I knew I liked you, squirt! I'll wait here, so go fetch the bridge worker. Chop, chop now. <laughs> oh, boy. Ugh, pardon me. My throat <clears> throat is a little bit sore. Linebeck's role in the story is, I guess he's just kind of here. He's not really... Th this lineback doesn't really do anything like Phantom Hourglass, right? Go talk to the bridge worker who lives in the snow realm. Oh, if you give him a lift, watch how you drive. He gets ruffled easily. Oh, no, it's an escort mission. If things get too bumpy along the way, expect him to yell at you a lot. There's an orange tingle up there, too, below the boomerang icon. I can see my sister's uh, telescope. Reused assets all over the place. Mm-hmm. What do we got here? Eh, let's just go. I guess we gotta go back to the Snow Realm chat. If only I had seen that damn proper teleport activator, but no, I found the other ones without the crystal. What am I doing? Go around. <clears throat> Board the train. Yep, I need a drink. Holy crap. Hmm. How long am I going today? Um, We've been going two and a half hours. I'm going to go a bit longer. I only want to play this today, for sure. Um, I've been doing short streams this week, and it's felt a lot better for me. I've had time to take care of other stuff, including get, like, commissions organized. Ugh, oh, pardon me. I guess we, we could just go this way so I can make sure I activate the teleport. Let's just take the long way. Yeah, I feel really motivated to stream, for sure. I've been having a lot of fun lately using the, the PNG tuber, but, um... Last weekend, I did two eight-hour streams back-to-back, -back, and at the end of it, I absolutely regretted it. So I need to, like, uh, save my energy a little bit. I say that as if four-hour streams are, like, you know, unreasonable to do. But, come on. Let's do it. Hang on. Perfect. I don't know about doing a spooky day tomorrow, because I, I still haven't gotten a chance to upload last week's spooky stream because of copyright issues. And I figure tomorrow I, I just want to do some Yu-Gi-Oh. Let's see. Take it easy for sure, yes. So, like, there's nothing I can do with this one. I have to hit find the one with the crystal to activate it. Hang on, let me speed up the train. I didn't do that. <clears throat> Pardon me. Jeez. Hmm? Pardon me. Holy crap. Okay. Bernie said it should be a few days before, like, all the states and stuff for the PNG tuber will be done. I'll do a little bit of streaming with it tomorrow. Or, not tomorrow. Uh, next week is a bit of a test, for sure. Let's -a go. Hold up, get these guys. Once this game and Pikmin 251 wrap up, we're starting new stuff, one of which will be Mother 3. I won't don't think I'll use the tuber for that, because I didn't use it for the other two games, so it might feel out of place. But I kinda wanna start a new a new playthrough and, and make full use of it. Let's see. Um I Hang on a second. No, I'm not trying to go fast. I'm trying to find the gate to teleport later. That's that's why I didn't take the spirit thing. Some of the sub goals I've been thinking about doing as well for when we start that next month. Um, I mentioned like how I want to do a lot of replays. One one thing I want to go back and beat uh, has definitely been Banjo Kazooie. It's on Switch Online too, so that works. 
I want to go back to Banjo Kazooie and 100% it. Let's see it. And beat the game without raging. And having to deal with the, and have yeah without having to deal with the chat that'll backseat everything. Chat's much better than that now. Revenge, and I'll use the PNG tuber the whole the whole time for that one as well. <laughs> okay. We'll do it, and we'll win. It'll be awesome. It'll impress the bears. Speaking of which, chat, if you want a bear, you gotta pay for that. These things aren't free. Bunny! Fine. You got a grass rabbit. Have I seen the, the gate? I don't see it yet. I guess we can stop here, though. Let's see what this does. Toot the horn. Can't make me right yet. Hang on, I brought this guy a whopping three rabbits. Well, someone's been busy hunting bunnies. Let me reward your hard work with 25 rupees. Oh, yeah, I'm so excited that I spent all that time and effort for 25 rupees. If you can bring me five cuddly, bun cuddly bunnies, I'll give you an amazing prize. <laughs> Three of them for 25 rupees, okay. Let's get back on the train. <clears throat> Ouch. The bunny had a little green shirt. Ouch. Bear button. Oh, you just redeemed for a bear? Fine then. The bear has returned for a little bit. Ugh, pardon me. I need to like, I'm gonna just like sneeze for a second. Okay, I'm good. Hmm. Excellent. Maybe I should make play, uh, playing Digimon World again with the PNG tuber a sub goal. Because I feel like since I'm raising, mainly trying to save things up for more art and an eventual model as well, maybe I should make the, make the playthroughs related to that. I keep saying I want an excuse to replay Digimon World and that would be it. Stonks. Heck yeah. And I'll make sure I get to all my sub goals much faster this time, because last year we had too many things, like, interrupt when I could actually start that. I think make, maybe making Banjo the first one would be okay. That's another reason I think I want to do Mother 3 before we start the sub goals, because I feel like Mother 3 will get delayed to a... To a hang on, I didn't increase the speed. That'll get delayed to hell and back, and... Yeah. There we go. Do I see it? Wait, no. That. Let's just go... The bridge worker's home this way. Where is it? Get rid of these guys. Don't see it over there. Is it along this path, or is it along the other one? Am I losing my mind? I just- I don't think I've seen this anywhere. Where is this magical gate with a triangle on it? I think it's, like, in the middle. Okay. Gotta wait for all the snow to go in. I think the draw distance is also just kind of bad in this game, obviously. I mean, it is a DS game, so, you know. All right. Hmm. <clears throat> Pardon me. Ugh. Let's do it. Oh, we can think of some more- some other sub-goals for sure. We shall figure them out. As long as they're fun and cozy. I do want to do the, some of the Mario- the, like, Mario Party and Mortal Kombat CPU tournaments, though. I think that'd be fun. Who do you think can win, chat? Hard Mode Donkey Kong? Or Hard Mode Dry Bones? Who will be the greatest contender? I don't think I'm wild enough to want to do a 50 turn game, but maybe I'll maybe in the future if it's popular. Wait, that'll be the best part, chat. It'll be a stream where I don't even need to play the game. I just have to sit there and watch. 
If I put Luigi in the cast, everyone will just bet on Luigi winning by doing nothing for the memes. Dude, I do not see it. Is it like here? First, let's get a frost. Get rid of Frosty and friends. Not over there. Did I go through it when I was entering this area before? Ugh. The bunny guy wasn't worth it either. I should have just taken the path through the spirit temple to come back here. I feel like I did it for nothing now. Emergency stop. Bet Yoshi. Well, I feel like I wasted my time taking the long path. I was really trying to be on the lookout for those, too, but I only saw one of them, and it was the one without the gem, so... You have to hit the one with the gem to activate both, I think. Got something to ask me, little guy? Actually... What? You want me to fix the bridge? All right, let me add it. I got something to tell that line back anyway. I'm ready to go right now, so I'll head to the train and wait for you there. Hmm. All right, then. Now let's take it all the way back. Is he not going to let me go to the spirit temple? Oh, my God. Will he make me take the long way? Hmm. What's your issue here, buddy? Ah, oh, rats, I was going to ask you to take me to Papuchia Village, but I guess you're already giving the bridge worker a ride. Well, no biggie. I'll just walk there. It'll give me a chance to take some killer picks along the way. But you should know that the bridge worker is super mega fussy. If you don't blow your whistle when the sign says so... Oh, oh no, he's one of those train ride people. Or if you don't follow the signs telling you to speed up or slow... That's what those are? <laughs> or if you don't stop right at the platform. Or if you get hit by an enemy while you're traveling. He'll jump off the train and yell at you until he's blue in the face. Also, don't use the reverse on the gearbox to brake suddenly. That kind of thing is dangerous for passengers, but this is all stuff a good engineer already knows. I have it all written down at my house, so swing by if you ever forget. I don't think I'm gonna... Oh, no, he has a mood meter. Mm. He's our first passenger, but he seems pretty demanding. Let's be careful. Ready to take him to that broken bridge? Hmm? <clears throat> okay. All aboard. I, I think this is gonna take a while. Chat. Hold a bear for a little bit. Yeah, let's go this way. We're gonna speed up. Let's see... What does that sign say? Toot the horn! You get the idea. Heck yeah. Boars. Just keep them happy and we'll be okay. Looks like we're safe to just speed up. Tower Spirit's coming in right here. He's still riding. Cannon's between me and him, though. Uh, Zelda, you gonna pop out here? How do I get back on the train? Find carbon and restore the spirit tracks of the ocean realm. Ready to board the train? Okay. I have to talk to her. Forced. Okay. Let's, let's see if we can do this. <clears throat> ouch. Ouch. That hurt. Jeez. Throat's a little iffy now. Can you believe this, Teddy? I'm so glad I got a little bear here and make things better. The bear's not here. What do you, What does it even matter? Great, now we have to try and not die. That's my favorite part. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let's try that. 
And I didn't see the little thing. See if we can do it, chat. Expert train engineer here. Here, I have I have a degree, mind you. I know what I'm doing. He's gonna crash right into me. We just barely avoided him. <clears throat> okay. Can I like talk? My my throat is just so freaking dry at the moment. Let's watch out for signs. Do you think if I let Teddy toot the horn, it would make the bear happier? Hydrate. Hang on, I can do that. Good golly. My throat's just gotten a bit parched all of a sudden. I... Uh-oh. I forgot that I couldn't emergency break there. This should be okay. Dude, he's coming to kill us! I missed the slow sign. There's nothing there! There's nothing on that one either. Whatever. Ugh. I thought... What? I, I thought the two arrows was the speed up. And the one arrow was slow down. Was it not? Okay, there we go. Maybe I did it too early, yeah. It looks like we're probably safe from the trains. They're not coming this way. I don't know if there's like a Phantom Hourglass or Spirit Track speed run. I feel like that would be a bit of a nightmare considering like... Um, then again, some people run DS games on Wii U. There is no gem on that one either. Okay. Genuine question, did I miss something really stupid somewhere? Because I keep seeing these and I do not see a gem in the middle of them. Am I just really unlucky in finding only the other ones? Oh, boy. I know that people speedrun Explorers of Sky on, um... On Wii U, because the, the Wii U version actually saves the game instantly, so it's the fastest version for sure. Wow, we're actually gonna make it. He's super happy. I know I need to find the other one first, but I just did a whole circle through the two available maps and I can't find any of them. So that's why I'm confused. I'm only finding the empty ring, so to speak. Let's just go slow because we can't just break suddenly. What happens if, um, some of them are locked behind side quests? Okay. There we go. What happens if he gets too mad? Does he go all the way back to his home and you have to start over? That would suck. Look at that. You're here. You sure know how to ride those rails, kid. Yes? Oh my god, that sounds obnoxious. I'm so glad I didn't have to do that. You believe this crap, Teddy? A ride like that puts me in a working mood. I'm heading straight to the job site. Mm-hmm. He just leaves. He goes to walk back to his house and you just gotta do that. If you break badly at the end station, he gets too angry and goes all the way back home. <sighs> God, that sounds... that sounds so annoying. Yep, bridge has... Uh, this bridge got a number done on it. It's not beyond fixing, though. It'll take a while, so go kill some time and come back later. Ah, the bridge worker! How have you been, my good man? Linebeck, well, I'll be. How you been, you old treasure hound? Much better now that you're here. Do me a favor and work a little of your magic on this dilapidated bridge. Of course, of course, just leave it to me. Shouldn't be a problem. Assuming, of course, you got my repair fee on hand. You do, right? 
You also still owe me for the work I did on your house, so along with the bridge. Hmm, I'd say 5,000 rupees ought to cover the bill nicely. 5,000! Surely you must be joking. Lucky for both of us, this young fellow has kindly agreed to foot the bill. N have I now? I'm hiding the bear before he tries to sell Teddy. He's the one who wanted the bridge fixed in the first place, after all. All I did was send him your way, friend. Oh, is that so? What? Well, I'm glad we cleared up that little bit of unsavory business. Oh, and you best get that money ready, Squirt. No one likes a bill dodger. Ta-ta. Eh, I don't really care who pays me, as long as I get my 5,000. I'll go fix that bridge, but that money better be ready for me when I'm done. What kind of nonsense is this? 5,000 rupees? That's positively criminal. How can we be expected to come up with that kind of money? You know when the princess of the kingdom is saying that, it, that says a lot about this kingdom's economy right now. Let's go give Linebeck a piece of our minds. A piece of my mind. He ain't gonna hear you. Yep. Alright, buddy. Do I recognize anything else in the background? Oh, chat! The ship- the model ship on the counter? That's Tetra's ship in Wind Waker, isn't it? I think it is. It looks like it. Obviously, it's really crusty and, like, tiny. But, um... What is it, Squirt? You look a bit worried. Is it because a little kid like you doesn't have 5,000 rupees to drop? Well, relax. I got a great idea I'm, I'm willing to share with you. Is it the ghost ship? Uh, the ghost ship was, like, far more black, though, I think. It looks like the color of Tetra's. If... Well, sorry. We can scrape that moolah together if you're willing to do a little work for me. Do what I say, and we'll have 5,000 rupees before you know it. What do you say? Down for some side work? Sure. Excellent. Now listen closely, as I only want to say this once. I've heard whispers of some high-value loot that was hidden here long ago. What loot, you ask? A gem of a treasure known as the Regal Ring. From what I can gather, that thing's got to be worth a cool 8,000 rupees. Easy. My grandfather left a letter detailing the ring's location shortly before his passing. I've read the clues he gave and looked all over, but I haven't hit pay dirt. That's where you come in. Old Lionbeck was hunting for treasure right until the very end. Well, since he's got a grandkid, he probably had a wife and kids, so he probably did more than be a lonely, greedy guy. This is where you come in. What say you find the ring for me and bring it back? Do that and we'll generate more than enough rupees to pay off your debt. Could be a sweet deal for anyone involved. You in? Fantastic! Here's the letter Gramps left behind, for your reference. Figure out the riddle, get your hands on the regal ring, and make us rich. You got Linebeck's letter. It seems to point the way to hidden treasure. It's the letter from THE Linebeck. The ring seems to be near Gramps' grave. You can get through- get there through here. Read the letter, see if you can suss out where the thing is- <gasps> He said the thing. He said the thing. He said the thing, chat. <laughs> it's funny. I, I find this very funny, though. Because, like, because of Among Us, people just forgot that sus was a real term. So whenever they hear it now, they think they think people are just trying to pander to Among Us kids. Sus. Can you sus out the real thing? Ha ha ha. I know, it's so freaking annoying. What are words? Is that that thing I heard on TikTok? There we go. I can't believe they made an Among Us reference a whopping nine years before Among Us was got was out. Beware of the shield gobbling monsters ahead. Those who've lost a shield can procure a shiny new one at... Oh, I see how it is. I see the little hustle going on. Mm-hmm. All right, hang on. Let me go to collection. Let's read this. My dear boy, even though I'm no longer with you, I'm sure you're faring well. But just in case you run into some hard times, I've buried the regal ring in a safe spot for you to claim. It wouldn't be fun if I told you exactly where, though, would it? Use these clues to find it. 
One, enter the hiding spot, sound the light, and follow its beam. Inside, go four steps north, six steps west from where the lights cross. And that's where you'll discover the treasure. Best of luck to you. Ha ha, Lineback Senior. All right. Let's have a look over here. Oh, Lineback. Ah, come on, really? Seriously, it didn't throw my boomerang fast enough. It didn't eat me, at least. Or eat the eat my uh, shield. There we go. That would have been annoying. Oh! Oh, are you serious? Yeah, yeah, give me the thing. Oh, I can't get it back now. That sucks. Hmm. There's a stamp there. I, I kind of don't care, though. I'm, I was trying to get the crow. Do this. Bees! Here rests the legendary Captain Lineback. Okay, can I open my thing, please? Can you get lost? Okay, what is it? What is it? Nothing's coming out. I gotta be closer, I guess. Purple, yellow, orange, blue. Okay. Oh, there's white at the end. Okay, I missed that. Ah. Ah. There we go. Just go all from one end to the other, minus the green. Alright, a rocket shipped out of there. Oh, Kirby Crystal. The Song of Light! Okay. So we got one. Hold that thought for a second. Let me reread the letter. Let's see. Enter the hiding- to enter the hiding spot, uh, sound the light, and follow its beam. Okay. Inside. Okay, I need to follow the beam first. Okay, close it, please. Okay, I need to get over there. Ah! Well, that works for me. Oh, come on. Fell right off. Looks like I need a bomb for this. Uh, where is a bomb? Maybe one's will appear if I blow at these. Work, damn it. No. Um. Did I miss a bomb flower somewhere? Oh, pfft, they're right over here. Bro, I thought that was the edge of the map. I think it would be there. Okay, now before this, let's go ahead and take out the enemies. Nope. I was trying to move away from it that time, too. Ugh, whatever. 
These things are far more annoying in this game than the other one, I feel. I guess I gotta play the Song of Light here again, don't I? Keep stopping at blue. There we go. I just gotta like skip through it like really fast. Like it just kind of stops accepting th the blow input after like a certain amount of seconds it feels like. Ugh. Whatever, it counted. There we go. You played the Song of Light. I don't have a shovel, though. There was a shovel in the last game. Okay, it seems like they intersect... ...right here. Now let's reread that letter again. Even though I'm longer with you, okay... Inside, go four steps north and six steps west. Four north, six west. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it's right here. No cave map for me to do. I think I play the Song of Light here, again. <sighs> I ran out of space for the touchscreen. <sighs> Try this. No crystal switches around. Hang on a second. What did what else did the note say about the last spot? Maybe there's a hint for that. That's where you'll discover the treasure. Okay. Let's see. Song of Discovery. There we go. Hang on a second. Let me get a drink. Oh. Red, yellow, sorry, what was it? Red, yellow, red, blue. There we go. Okay, then. Huh? not what I wanted to do. I'm trying to play the other one. Oh, I hate this so much. Oh, that counted, though. We did it. You got the regal ring. It's been passed down over generations of nobility. Only a small number of these exist in the world. Check it on the collection screen. Is it really worth 8,000? Find out. 2,500! Uh-oh. Yeah, that's only gonna cover 50% of this. 50%! I don't think we can face the big scary engineer man. You know what we need? A teddy. This is an emergency situation. I'm activating the teddy button. I think we can all agree this is for the best. No more like-likes. I don't want to deal with them. I already got to buy a new shield from Line Beck. Jerk. What's that look for? You got a strange twinkle in your eye. Whoa, you devil. You found the regal ring, didn't you? Yep. Aha, I knew I could count on you to bring home the bacon squirt. 
Well, where is it? Let me take a closer look at the thing. Oh, it's just breathtaking. Gramps always had an eye for treasure like this. The weight, the amazing craftsmanship. This beauty's worth a ton for sure. Oh, you don't say. Must be one heck of a ring then. You bet it is. It's got to be worth the cool 8,000 rupees. Hey, when did you get here? How long have you been standing there? Just came by to let you know the bridge is all patched up. Oh, oh yes, that's right. Wonderful. Sure is. And now that work's done, I'll take that ring as payment. But this little doodad's worth 8,000 rupees? You could have fooled me. Still, it beats taking another IOU. If you need anything else, just give me a holler. Bro, he just... he We scammed that guy! Can you believe he just took off with that ring? It's worth almost double what I owed. Crud. No, it's only worth half. I guess that's that. Still, you've got a real talent for sniffing out treasure. Chat, we absolutely scammed that man. Tisk tisk tisk. Oh, tell you what, from here on out, bring any treasure you find to me. If they impress me, I'll trade you some lovely new train cars for those trinkets. Sound like a sweet deal? It's cause it is. Now get out there and find me something shiny, my little treasure hunter. Can't wait to see what you bring my way. Bye now. Okay then. So I guess he's the guy I sell treasure to, but I don't really need to do that right now, anyway. There we go. It's not perfect, but it's strong enough to cross on. Might be a little shaky in spots, though, so you might want to cross quickly. Oh, don't look so spooked. It's fine, I tell you. It'll get you to the other side. <sighs> All right, then. No easy task, but we've uh, finally opened a path to the ocean realm. You ready to head out? Actually, he said he sold shields, right? So maybe he also sells other stuff. Instead of just selling... Hang on, let me go. Let me just take a quick peek inside before I go. Hey there, my little moneymaker. I mean, intrepid uh, treasure hunter. What can Linebeck help you with? Uh, train car? If you've got the goods, I got a shiny new train car with your name on it. Um. Oh, I see. Uh, do, do I really care about this? Not really. Treasure? Sweeter words have never been spoken. Let's see what you've got for me. Okay. I remember in Phantom Hourglass, a lot of the, um, the ship parts were locked behind playing the battle mode. I love the battle mode in that game a lot, but you can't play it anymore. Dude, I hope some random indie game comes out. It just kind of, like, replicates that battle mode. It was so much fun. You take turns with one player being Link, uh, grabbing the Force Gems, while the other player draws the Phantom's paths. Everyone online would always disconnect anyway, so... <laughs> it was no easy task, but we finally opened a path to the ocean realm. You ready to head out there, Link? Sure. I said sure. Let's be on our way, then. I know it boosts your train hearts. I don't give up my stuff for that, though. I don't even have that much stuff. To the ocean realm, chat. You think I'm gonna follow the signs? Hell no. I'm never following the signs again. Can't make me. I'll still die instantly from the other train. So fun. I don't know if anything's tied to battle mode in this game. I mean, you can play the battle mode online, but... I mean... On the Wii U, you can't really connect and play with another player with two DSs, because wireless functions don't work on this version. Oh, boy. So let's see what we got here. A whole lot of nothing. So I guess we're going this way. Looks like the temple is in the middle of that ocean there. Are you ready, Teddies, to see some exciting adventures? Follow the rules, you don't want the bear to pick up bad habits from watching me. Hey. 
Hey. Why should I? Like the bear's ever gonna be in a position to drive a train. It's never gonna be. Silly teddies can't operate trains. Papuchia Village. Oh, that's where that one guy wanted to get me. Well, here we are in Papuchia Village. I summon, or sorry, I summered here once when I was young, but I haven't been here since. Want to go swimming? Do I ever. Well, can't exactly do that in my current state, but when I get my body back, we should come back here to swim. Anyway, let's get going. Let me see. Welcome to Papuchia, a village at sea. Our village leader is a clairvoyant who can see into the future. We call her the wise one. Do we now? Let's have a look then. You just hop over here. A little hop and a skip. Thanks to the wise one, it's been a bumper crop year for fish. We owe it all to her. What would you like to read about? Oh, it's just the same damn sign everywhere, huh? Let's check out this shop. Why you look like a bootleg toad? Oh, welcome. It's not often you see some youngins around these parts. This is my shop, so don't hold back on buying anything. I don't have a bomb bag or a quiver, so... Yellow potion restores all your hearts. Isn't that what the other ones already do? Refills eight hearts. Okay. Why would I want to take a drink from the piss bottle to restore all my hearts? Come back soon! No, thank you. Thank you, Rakeko, for the 48 months. Look at that. Four years of teddies and moomins. And two days of me holding a teddy in the corner. Let's see. Can I... Nothing there. Let's take a look here. Why is your, like... She looks like she has, like, a, a giant flat disc in her mouth right now. Thank you, Shio Rath. Also 48 months. Look at that. Everyone's been long-time subs here. Pirates often show up in the water surrounding the village. In fact, all the local men have been kidnapped. Including that one guy. One guy who? Let's have a look around. Pirates showed up and took all the men... We gotta put a stop to this cowardly act. Did the wise one see this coming? So pleased you could make it. Of course the stars foretold your arrival, Link. How do I know your name, you ask? Oh, the stars foretold that as well. I know everything you see, even things that have yet to happen. I sense your heart is heavy with deep concern. Is that so? Ah. Don't be shy about telling me. Remember, I already know everything. Clearly you don't know enough. Well, do you want me to see the future? Nah. I see. Well, I hope you don't regret this. Okay, you can tell me the future. Humor me. Hmm, you want me to tell your future after all? I'm going to ask you some questions, so answer them with a straw. Oh no, it's gonna use the microphone, isn't it? No! <laughs> answer them with a strong, clear voice. Are you a boy or a girl? I'm a boy? PNG tuber has already, you know, raised a lot of questions about that, but I can assure you I am. <laughs> of course, I already know that. What's your eye color? Can't you see? It's red. You're supposed to be psychic, not blind. Oh yes, just like my sister. And finally, what is your astrological sign? Uh, Taurus, actually. Taurus, I said. Can you hear me? I said Taurus. Ah yes, the sign of an ingenious inventor. Now listen to the message of the stars. Oh, do you see this crap, Teddy? In another land, a man goes through life with an empty heart. He looks for love, but only a prophet can help him. You need for today is courage. Uh, okay. Wow, this was just for fun. I thought I needed to talk to you to like advance the game. No wonder everyone got kidnapped here. You're useless. <laughs> All right, let's go this way. Let's try this house. 
Hello, child. Hey, hey, look at me. I got something very important to ask you. If you were to describe me in one word, would it be... Why do you need the, me to talk? Go away. I don't want to talk to you. You would say something like that. Damn right I just did. Get lost. The wise one told me my future. She said I'm going to be a movie star. I'm glad I won't be an ex... Movie star? Hyrule has movies? Huh? This seems like the type of thing that's like a funny translation where they didn't, like, remember a simple fact like that. Movie star. <laughs> um. I feel like it's just a throwaway thing, but, like, it's gotta be, like, a translation thing, right? But there's no way the Japanese text also says that. Maybe it was supposed to be actor and they translated it as that, yeah. Can I get over here? No, I can't. I could probably if I go the long way around. No one here is telling me anything I need to do. Hyrule does not have movies. There's no way, chat. Wait, what? Oh, I'm looking at the wrong part of the map. My bad. I like this. Can I yell at NPCs even more? I feel like that's a fun idea. You got a star fragment. Yeah, it's mine now. Let's go. There must be movies in Hyrule now. This child confirms it. Or she's just talking complete nonsense. Or she's a time traveler that doesn't know that she needs to keep some things a secret. Uh, looks like Carbon's not here. Let's go find him. All right, then. I don't know why I stopped here. All right, then. We'll try advancing. I'm sure we'll just ride the train to the ocean. It'll go so well. Bum, 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 bum. Now, chat, I have a very important question. A very, very important question. Let me see. So we needed to get that bridge filled. Right? That bridge built. But the tracks just go over it anyway, and these ones seem pretty damn sturdy. Why did we need that wooden-ass bridge back there? If we could just ride the tracks over the water. Beats me. Hey, look, it's that jelly thing that we used from Phantom Hourglass. Dolphins! Speed up. Wait, the tracks keep going. Huh? Okay, it stops up here, it seems. Stop it. Ocean Sanctuary. Wait, this is the sanctuary? That was easy. All right, chat, I guess we're getting another uh, Wicked Flute solo today. You want to see that? Here we are at the Ocean Sanctuary. I wonder what Carbon's like. I wonder if he'll be on wheels like the other locomotive. Zelda, come on, come on, you're a princess. You need to know better than to point that out. Come on, you just... come on, come on. <laughs> come on, let's go and meet him. That is not princess behavior right there. Let's have a little look over here. Some people just have to move around that way. You don't have to be rude about it, ma'am. There's a switch up there. Nothing I can do to reach it, it seems. Didn't Lineback say I could buy a, a shield? He didn't seem to have one for sale. Let's look over here. That crab is attacking me. Aha! Rock solid defense no longer works. Look at this funky looking cave. Here we go. Boomerang's a lot more fun than blowing into the microphone over and over. Okay, there's bombs there. Okay, yeah, I can't carry it like that even when I do that. 
Hmm. Does that mean I just throw it? All right, that's it. Okay. Wait, that didn't hit it? Okay, then I got an idea. Ah, oh, damn it, not enough time. No, I tried to angle. Hang on, I think I should just throw it. There, that should work this time. There you go. I don't know how it didn't hit last time. Good thing that boomerang always returns. I don't remember how many um, items are recycled from Phantom Hourglass. I know there's at least, uh, I think there's like three specific items that are like new to Spirit Tracks. I don't remember like if there's any other unique ones besides those, but there were three that were super unique is what I'm trying to say. The Whirlwind was one of them. I think one of them you get in, like, the very last dungeon. So it looks like there's a thing. Oh, I see, I see. We gotta, like, see where these guys are facing, don't we? Hang on. Um. Let's just see where they face... If they face towards the door or if they need to intersect somewhere. Do I want to keep the line going? Not sure. Let me go ahead and check what the door says. Follow the gazes of the statue, trace their paths to open the door. Oh, okay. No, 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 I'm trying to back out. Nothing happened. Okay. This one is also looking here. Does it go all the way, or do I just stop at the door? I need more information. We'll just have to check each statue. Oh, this goes back here. I see. Oh, it's a shortcut. That's what this is. I think there's only, like, two weapons, really. Hmm. Right, let's go check the other statues. These guys are just stop and use the boomerang. Pretty much it. Okay, looks like this one is looking at this statue. If that's the case, if we're following the statue's paths... Hang on. Following where they're looking, then the bottom two clearly are the stroke that ends towards the door. So let me just go ahead and erase stuff, right? Hang on. This one goes to this statue, and these ones go towards the door. There's some cuckoos. Here. Go for a little ride. Get this little thing here to go this way. This one is looking towards this one, clearly. This shape feels like it's gonna be very crusty to draw on this door. Oh no, minor amounts of damage. What will I do, chat? Okay. This one clearly goes here. I think it's obvious where the other one goes, but we'll go to it anyway. Okay, there we go. That'll take care of this. You, buddy. Look at that sweet moolah. Oh, saw this coming. Alright, so I'm making like, uh, kind of a W with weird ends. How, will that really fit the square? doesn't count. 
Dumb. Uh oh. Um. It's a Jorks pattern. Don't call it that. I know what how it goes, but it says trace the paths of the statues, but there's two separate paths of the statues, so I don't know which one. I don't think it really cares which side I start with. Maybe they're not looking at the door. Yeah, hang on. Let's let's try that assumption. Hang on. It looks like they would end at the door. So if I change my idea here these two and assume they're going to that then we just got then we have more of an infinity symbol diamond infinity symbol uh, okay then ah it worked I was wrong in my assumption Oh, here comes the here comes the much more fun part. Carbon doesn't seem to be here, Link. Hey, what's that? Let's check it out. I am at Papuchia Village visiting my sky friends, Carbon. <sighs> Too bad Carbon isn't here. Let's go to Papuchia Village and look for him. Okay, then uh, that's exciting. Glad we came all this way. Uh huh. Well, now we leave. Oh wait, what am I doing? I can I opened up the shortcut, but now I can't hop down to that, so I gotta take the long way around. Yeah, down over here. Oh, don't mind me, I just need to get some friends. I love how we, how we have to do a big puzzle to get in here, but he can just come and go like that. Like, he's not sealed in there. Why can't he just keep the damn door open for when, like, heroes need to come by? Golly, that's annoying. Where in the world is Carbon San Diego? <laughs> oh, funny. They only had such a limited amount of space, they had to make me run back and forth a few times. I still haven't seen a triangle to shoot at. Those dolphins were coming right at me. Teddy wants me to toot the horn. Toot! Oh, boy. I broke into his house. Why couldn't he be home for me to, like, talk to him? How rude of him. Here I was, ready to get frustrated at having to do another flute solo. I kind of want to get it over with before we, um, end the episode. Oops, hang on. Come on, we're close enough. Don't give me that. Now, the next guess is finding out who's friends with him. He didn't listen to the wise one, and then... Uh-oh. Oh, is he one of the guys that got kidnapped? Oh, look over there, Link. Oh, that white-haired fellow floating in the air. Could he be the Locomo Carbon? Oh, no, he's just... Oh, those are his sky friends. Okay. Carbon! Carbon! He's in some sort of daze and doesn't seem to hear us. Maybe the wise one will know what to do. Oh, no. <sighs> Gonna make me shout in the microphone to get him down. <laughs> Something troubling you. You don't have to say anything. I already know. You want me to tell you your future? Please. I'm going to ask you some questions, so... Oh, wait, no. No, 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 no. Something else. <sighs> okay, then. Maybe I have to do this again. We've been over this. You didn't hear me the first time? Boy. 
course you already knew that. What's your eye color? It's red. Can't you see? It's part of the design. It's very distinctive. Ah, yes, just like my father. And finally, what is your astrological sign? I told you. It's Taurus! Is that not good enough? Sign of the brave warrior. Now listen to the message of the stars. Skadaddle, skadoodle. Below where the sky dwellers gather near the lonely tree, there's a hidden sound stone that will call him. What you need for today is courage. Okay. Lonely tree? I guess I need to, like, play something. Awakening or discovery? Try that. Boop boo. Boop boo. You played Song of Awakening. There's nothing here to wake up. Okay, let's try discovery. Uh, which one was that again? Red, yellow, red, blue. Red, yellow, red, blue. Yeah, this should work. Wow, that looked funny. Alright then, chat, new song. Pick out this new one. Purple, yellow, purple. Purple, yellow, purple. Glad it accepts these inputs. Teddy likes the music. He's so ha he's so excited. Look at that cream hairstyle he's got going on. The nerve. There I was, flying high in the sky, unwinding. Then you play the song of birds, and I come crashing down. Don't you know that song has the power to call birds to you? Now I do. The song of birds. Play it to call a bird over. Check it on the collection screen. What's that? You say you went to the ocean sanctuary. It's true, and we saw the note that you were here. Did you not hear me? I was yelling your name. Don't be so upset. I wasn't just lollygagging, you know? I was talking to the birds about the different places they've seen. Oh, I didn't know you were friends with birds, Carbon. But never mind that, we're in dire need of your help. Hmm, let me guess, you want me to restore the spirit tracks, don't you? Oh, I'm so sorry, you gotta do your job, or the world will perish? Oh gosh, poor you. I was hoping to relax here a little longer, but fine. Take me to the ocean sanctuary on your train. Let's go. I'll be waiting for you in the train. Cool. Alrighty. Now we can leave. Gone back and forth like a few times now. Carbon's waiting in the train's passenger's car. Alright. So let's go. Really gotta get a whole lot of mileage from this, like, tiny map this game has. There's no way I could ruin his mood in this amount of time, right? Does he care if I disobey the signs? I don't care. Let's go. What's he gonna do? Go home if I get if I make too many mistakes? That's what we're going. Okay, he doesn't care if I attack the dolphins. Good. Uh-oh. That's not Jolene. Was that even her name? Pirates! Uh-oh. Oh no, pirates! Dastardly kidnapping pirates. You must protect me from them, Link. Okay. Are they gonna pay for the windows they just broke? Yay. This is so challenging. I say that and I'm gonna mess it up very shortly. Just watch. There we go.
Easy. No! Dude, I'm tapping to hit them, and instead I keep rolling in this tiny space. Dude! Oh, that was frustrating. Okay. Maybe it's the camera angle and I'm causing me to roll a bit. There we go. That wasn't so bad. This is the most gameplay of all time. Oh, it's a big blin! He has no neck. Blin. These things are featured pretty prominently in the Wind Waker maps for um, Hyrule Warriors. Because Wind Waker didn't have enough big enemies to use by itself. So they used some of the Spear Track ones they made. Come on. Oh, damn it, too early. Okay. Wait for it to go. Oh, right, it backswing. What am I doing? I didn't realize it was the backswing that got me last time. Come on. Get him. Dude has more health than a freaking boss. Oh, I almost did it again. Okay, got him. Ugh. Taking a sweet time. There we go. Whew. Thank you, you really saved my hide there, Link. Well, now that that bit of unpleasantness is over, let's get to the sanctuary. Holy moly. Are we finally done? This time we've gone back and forth here. <laughs> They're making, getting a lot of mileage out of this one section. You see that, Teddy? Teddy sees it. Teddy is absolutely happy to be here. We beamed him, yes we did. I'm glad people seem to be enjoying this. Oops. Whatever. People seem to be enjoying this playthrough a lot. We have a lot more people here than normal. I was kind of expecting it to be a little lighter because of um, it being a while since I really did Zelda. Oh, we finally made it. It was just a short distance away, but it felt so far. I suppose mortal peril has that effect on a person. You really must be more careful in the future, Link. A force gem? Here, this is for you. You look confused, so I'll explain. Every living being possesses energy. And this energy is similar to the energy that powers the spirit tracks. When a person's heart is especially happy or grateful, his energy levels become particularly strong. Energy lives in the hearts of everyone, even feeble old fellows like me. I don't express it well, but the bottom line is that I appreciate your help. Here, please take this. It belongs to you. You got a force gem. The forest rail map is going... Oh, is that how I unlock... Oh, wait, no, it added somewhere in the game to go. Energize the rail map. New tracks have appeared. Okay, so I can go to more places when I get these. I see. You plan to continue your journey by train, do you not? Then you must always go forth with people's hearts in your mind. When you make people happy, their spirits emit energy. When this energy builds, new tracks appear. This should be very useful for your journey. All right, I'll be heading out to the sanctuary. See ya. More gems, more map. Power of friendship, everybody. Isn't that nice? And these games are nice. Hang on a second. There was birds over here I could call, right? No, I think they were on the other map. Oh. Yeah, up here. Let's call them. Hang on. 
Pretty simple enough to do that one. Call the birds over. Um. Oh, I think I need, like, the grappling hook or something to hook onto them, don't I? Yeah. I thought they would, like, lower themselves and let me grab it, but no, they just come towards you. That's all. Well, we got the door open. Let's head in here. Thanks again for earlier, Link. Let me reintroduce myself. I am Carbon, Guardian of Ocean Realm. You're here to restore the spirit tracks, aren't you? Yes, I am. But of course, you've come all this way, so I'll do everything I can to help. Very well. In order to restore the tracks, I'll need your help. Oh, yes. This song requires two different instruments to play different parts. I'll teach your part first. Okay, chat. Stay calm. We can do this. Once you've had enough practice, you can put down your flute. Wait, what? Three notes? Uh. Oh no! It skips the yellow! Oh no! We're just gonna have to get into it. We're just gonna have to go for it. Oh my god, it actually worked. I, how did I get that first try? It's easier to do the notes when you have a continuous breath, so the fact that I have to stop and make a, take a new breath to skip the yellow one is very awkward, because I don't know if I can just move the gamepad, right? But somehow I got it. I don't know how. I can't believe it accepted that as good enough. <laughs> You completed the duet with Carbon, the Locomo, the Ocean Realm. The Ocean Realm map has started glowing. Alright, look at that. A portion of the tracks leading to the Ocean Temple has been restored. The Ocean Temple itself, however, resides deep on the ocean floor. Only a tiny part of it is visible above sea level. To go to the Ocean Temple, you must first head to the ocean floor. What? You're wondering if a train can travel on the ocean floor? How dare you question the spirit's strength? The ocean floor is covered with rails, so of course the train can move freely there. The way to get down there is... Last, I can't remember where the entrance is. Oh yes, now I remember. I knew I might need this information later. That's why I wrote it down for myself, just in case. Here, take this with you. You got Carbon's letter. It has instructions on how to get to the ocean floor. Go to the collection screen to read it. I wish you success. Well then. So he gave me instructions on what to do. I think I'm I'm thinking this might be a good stopping point. Cause um we're at a point where I I have new places to explore and a puzzle to work out to get to the next temple. So it's kind of a good place to come back to next time I play this. I need another shield, but it's not that important. Hmm. He wrote the Wi-Fi password on paper. Remind, someone remind me to check the note at the start of next stream. Hopefully I'll remember. Maybe write a note for myself. Let's go ahead and save here. Saving. Don't remove the game card or turn the power off. Save complete. All right. Continuing with my trend of short streams today, everybody. I would say that, uh, well, oops. Let me move this here. Hang on. I could write it on the map. You're right. Hang on. Hang on. You're right. Check letter <laughs> if i miss that next time <laughs> I, I need to save again i need to save again <laughs> that should be staring me in the face the next time i play the game <laughs> life hack discovered everybody 
Alrighty. I made a save after I did that. Oh. No, oh, stop that. Wrong one. Alright, let me set the gamepad down for a second. Yeah, man, my, my hand is a little cramped doing this for three and a half hours. That's okay. Anyhow, chat. I am still having a blast with this game. It's been pretty fun. There's still a few, like, touchscreen Wii U games I'd love to give a try, like Pokemon Ranger. Maybe that could be one of the sub-goals, too. Oof. Oh, pardon me. Again, I did, like, eight-hour streams last week, and I regretted it. I kind of want to keep going, but I feel like I should just stop and go make dinner and just, like, do some other stuff for the night. Tomorrow's plan is I think I want to do, like, three to four hours of Tag Force 2 again. Um, I don't have anything spooky, like, specifically picked out, and I don't want to scramble to do it. Uh, and next stream of this will be Tuesday. I'm going to do, just like this week, I'll probably do a stream of it on Tuesday and Saturday. Let me see. I can do that. Anyways, I should probably end the YouTube recording. If you're watching on YouTube, I hope you're enjoying this so far. I hope you like my PNG tuber. This is the very simple one, but we'll have, like, what, um, a more ugu cute one in uh with multiple states probably by next week i could still switch to this one every now and then why the hell not i appreciate the gift y'all made for me it was super nice anyways if you're watching on youtube hope you're enjoying this so far have a good night look forward to more bye bye